Then oh, let me change my tweet. Oh, no, the tweet is right. My mistake. <laughs> Lunlash. Lun there was a lot going down in the last five minutes. I said, hey, what's the docket? And then we needed to talk about fucking PUBG again for a while. Well, what about <laughs> when I asked what the freaking docket is? You go, here's a 900 gigabyte officially licensed NBA game. We don't even know if the online works. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it does work. I, the, the Robert's like, oh, I want to play this Warhammer game. It came out in 1984. <laughs> it came out like a year ago. This it, might it as well like be 1984, months. man. <laughs> and I said I would stream that with Rob. I didn't even mean for that to be implied that you were involved. Oh, I'm glad because I've I've Cause turned it down so many videos. times. It did. They made it. This a, fucking baby will escape from the basement today. They baby made a will. song about it. It's called "Turn Down for What," and the answer is "Turn Down for the Docket." Every time it comes up. Anyway. Cobalt's dropping frames. All right, all right, all right, all right. What's the seed? <laughs> I don't know. You want one? Oh, I would like a seed, please. <sighs> Fucking baby again. Here he is. Uh, Eden basement. Run L06B. All right. Okay, okay give me a L06B. L06B. Uh, Y4K1. Why 4K1? Yeah, why 4K, right? I mean, like, at this point, we've got 1080p. It's good enough, right? I watched a little of Austin's stream today in 160p. Or 180p. One, 180? Yeah. Were you on a Game Boy? Kate was uploading, but I wanted to see how his Battlegrounds was going. Oh, he got some spicy mm. boys? He did mm. have some spicy boys. And you know what? I gotta be honest. 180p is not that bad. Yeah? That it's, is that the lowest? Here. That's the lowest Twitch will allow you to go, I believe. Right. It, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, it wasn't that good. Mm. I borderline... For that kind of game, it sounds like it'd be awful. Yeah, What's... but I wanted to know is the thing. Uh, quick question, I know you're not supposed to do this, but... Uh, what's, what's the, the metal grade... plate? What's Well, actually, yes, but also what's the great dice thing? Because that's the more important question. It re-rolls the rewards on a room. Okay, gotcha. It's like a high level kind of BS item. Wait, mm. yeah, it rerolls the rewards on a room. I don't really ever use it, but apparently it's excellent. It's one of the 7,000 dice that there are now, so. Yeah. There are too many of, unless dice. Unless it's D6 or D20, I'm like, whatever. Or D4. D4 is all right. D100. Mm -hmm. D100 is fine, but it's like there's already like three other dice to do the same thing as All right, I'm sorry. We're story. talking way too much about Isaac already. Yeah. That's it. Well, uh, I hate sandwiches. Time. I hate them. <laughs> there you go. That's it. I was going NLSS style. I don't know if it worked. So I got an yeah. I've got a sandwich based anecdote. Okay, I'm ready. Yesterday, uh, I took most of, well, at least I took the morning and early afternoon off to do some studying. And I was like, you know, Kate's busy streaming. Maybe I'll go like get her some lunch or something. So I walk in on her stream, and uh, I say, hey, Kate, do you want a sandwich? And she goes, no. So I left, and I was like, all right, I'm going to get my own sandwich then. And then she goes, wait, 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 wait. Are you making it, or are you going to buy one? And I say, I'm going to buy one. And she said, yeah, I'll take a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, you got roasted. Is you make shitty sandwiches, huh? That's what we're learning here today? But I didn't take too much offense to it, because I was like, the sandwich that I was going to buy is really good. I don't have the ingredients to make that sandwich at home. I was, if I was making it at home, it's just gonna be like a ham sandwich with toasted bread. You know, it's not anything that impressive. Awful. It's not. There's nothing wrong with. What kind of sandwiches are you making <laughs> at home? At least put a little S and P on that bad boy. You know what I'm talking about? I don't about? put you know salt and pepper on sandwiches that already have cold cuts. You should. That's like it already has like 100 percent of your daily requirement of salt. I mean, it especially does, ham. but it's got too much salt. It's a cured meat. Look, no, but especially while you are right, your sandwich will be kicked up a notch if you uh, add a little bit of S and P on that bad bitch. I don't even. You saying. just like saying S and P is really all. I do saying. like saying S and P. I did good. see you say that the other day, or hear yeah, you yeah, say that yeah. rather. People mm -hmm. don't do that. Really, put S and P on a sandwich. You, you, yeah, you do. That's, uh... I've seen them do it at Subway all the time. Yeah, just, if you if you get a sandwich from a sandwich shop, they're putting S and P on that sandwich. Well, they don't mayo do on there. They maybe put vinaigrette, not so much the S and P. Well, that too. But I mean, you know, wherever you put it, you you put it in a place. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Wherever you put it, you do put it in a place. <laughs> if the meat is seasoned, you don't need to season the sandwich. Um, 
well, no, you don't need to. You Does never cured need meat to. count as seasoned. I would say that cured meat counts as seasoned. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Cured meat is like what pork's all about, and it's salty. So why are yeah. we putting S and P on it? Yeah, that's oh, why I'm I'm with you. Made in salt. Do you call it oh. Evo? I do not. I do not do the Evo E V O O nonsense. That, yeah, that but like, me off, actually. if that pisses oh, you off, you though, your rice. but you're saying S M P though is the thing. So like, that's the problem. Yeah, but like, I also do it ironically. Mm. So that's that's part of it. Okay. You know, that's 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 part of the whole the allure of the S and P. I'll understand one day. And plus, you get to have the ampersand if you type it. Which is fantastic. I mean, the, the more opportunities I can have to use an ampersand, the no, better. Oh man, you're doing opinion. it wrong. Because if you don't use the ampersand, you just put S and then N and P, and you go, oh, snap. That's, oh, that's the okay. Scottish N National Party, though. It's not <laughs> Scottish, it's Scottish. The Scottish. The Scottish, <laughs> the Scottish very one Scottish I know. Of you. Yeah. Oh, God, to say that. I only use the ampersand when I'm using the address of operator in C++. C++. I got the language wrong at the last second. God. They put, like, two ampersands next to each other, which I think is crazy. Oh, that's stupid, well, dude. that's that's for conditionals. I was talking about the address of operator, which is a different thing. Oh, I didn't know you were talking about the address of operator. See, that's my bad. No, there's something I that... talking about conditionals. No, I mean... I mean, suppose you could use an address of operator in a conditional as long as you dereferenced it first, but... <laughs> Chat, get a load of these nerds, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were talking about quality options before. Did you know you can lock those behind a paywall now? Really? How, how, That's not great news. How, how deep can you get in locking them behind a paywall? Can I be like, you can... Uh, can I make it so subscribers <laughs> have to watch on 240p? No. <laughs> I think you can just restrict that you can change them at all. Why would you even want that? Well, there's a limited money, amount man. of Gotta bandwidth. Gotta get that sick ass dank money to go around. <sighs> well, Netflix does do that as well. And I'm not trying to say that that makes it okay, but Netflix has like the. I, I almost consider it like a stupid tax. That's like, well, you can get <laughs> high definition Netflix for twelve dollars a month or whatever it is, or you can get standard definition Netflix for ten dollars. And it's like if you're uh -huh. buying the if you're trying to save two dollars a month by watching 480p Netflix, like I'm yeah. not gonna tell you how to live your life, but I think you should reevaluate your priorities personally because that's worth it in my opinion. I mean, like the in in fairness to Netflix, they are actually paying for the bandwidth. The individual streamer is not. It's not like we pay taxes on our sub sub. Uh, Don't give many ideas. For the... If they if they would give me a better split for uh, locking behind 1080p, then ah, get the lock <laughs> chat. <laughs> but uh, but they don't. So like, why would you do that? That's silly. My like our cable provider also does that. Like sometimes we'll buy movies on demand, and then it'll be like, well, it's six dollars for HD, but you can get SD for five dollars. Like I feel like you should. It's like going to a restaurant, and then you know the restaurant is like, well, you can get it the normal meal for ten dollars but for eight dollars we'll give it to you but there's some broken glass in it <laughs> Whoa, well that seems like a lot worse i can all <laughs> look i don't know about you guys i just think like it's still pretty good even with the broken glass so why would i pay the extra two dollars i don't even notice the broken glass because i've been eating all my foods with broken glass for 20 years but like sd isn't gonna cut up your esophagus i think it might have catastrophic impacts on the human brain you think so we just don't know well, you know what would be up in it. You know what be better up. is is provide an even cheaper service that uh, puts everything into a four by three. Yeah. <laughs> stretched. Oh, like they have to go out of their way to make it worse. Yeah, yeah it's exactly, not even like yeah. if they've created an, a way to emulate it that looks worse. <laughs> just so yeah. you can pay less. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of like what airplanes do with your convenience and comfort. Yeah, fuck airplanes though. <laughs> Do we want to do an airplane episode today? I feel like Dude. we've done one pretty recently. Yeah, I can hate we, You know what we can do is we can combine airplane episode with Mathis episode and oh, be like, okay. is anybody... Oh, he's going to fly, right? Is anybody else getting sick of Mathis anxiety that obviously impacts his quality of life substantially more than it impacts ours? This dude's <laughs> always... He's always humble bragging about how anxious he is about his international flights. It's like, I don't know whether to be mad or sympathetic. Dude's like, I'm, 
I don't know, guys. I'm not really excited to sit in a chair for eight hours tomorrow. It's like, that's what we do every day, man. Just get over <laughs> it. You're just 30,000 feet in the sky and, you know, really only maybe eight inches away from one of the world's worst, most, like, harrowing possible deaths, but... Yo, actually, can I pay extra for an airline seat that lets me, like, sit in my underpants and, like, actually I have never, working internet? That's, that is straight up Republican Airways. <laughs> <laughs> that's you pull a shower curtain around you. just you decided that if you pay extra, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> that sounds fantastic, <laughs> honestly. That sounds great. But, excuse me, sir, can you stop uh, jerking off? In your seat? <laughs> oh, well, I have the $1,000 uh, jerk-off class, so... <laughs> You're sitting back there in uh, papyrus tier. Oh, no. You got, you don't even get cups. <laughs> you they just pour the water straight into your throat. At, like, Star Citizen tier, they should just let you walk anywhere in the plane and do anything you want. Yeah, like, yeah, you like want something out of the snack face. tray, you just go to the snack tray and you just r rifle through it until you get Dude. what you want. Fuck yeah, I'm with that. Did you know I've never done this? Well, actually, one time I did do this because I thought I was going to die. I was so dehydrated. But uh, you can just go to the galley and, like, ask for things. No. Oh, yeah. No way, really? You can just... Yeah. You can go to the galley and be like, hey, can I get a Diet Coke? And they like, interrupt their conversation with each other and be like, here's a Diet Coke, sir. Or like, oh, can I get like some more legit peanuts? One of those the doctors don't want you to know kind of. I think it is. That's the case. <laughs> the only thing <laughs> stopping me, it, the only thing stopping me is social convention. Is that like I would have to go back? To, I'm ah, really sorry, but can I have some more peanuts, please? <laughs> you could, you could have. I mean, if you ask them for like basically everything in the cart when they roll by, they'll they'll give it to you. They're they're supposed to. Really? It's free. Yeah, like all all that stuff. Like. It's, it's, you know, they give you the one bag, but it's not like, you know... Oh, I thought it was like, calculated into the ticket price that it's like, we can only give you this many peanuts. Any more nah, would be a, a net loss for us in this complimentary. business transaction. It's all complimentary. Yeah, but is it really, though? The best yeah. situation for that I ever had on an airplane was I flew Lufthansa on one of those, like, A380s. It's an airplane the size of, like, a small dwarf planet or something. And uh. they were like, we're not going to bring you snacks unless you, like, specifically ask us. But if you just go down the stairs here, where the there stairs? were, like, there were stairs and there were, like, four bathrooms at the bottom of the stairs in economy. So, like, yeah, you never paradise. had to wait. They're like, if you go down to the bottom of the stairs, there's, like, a snack bar and there's sodas down there and juices. Just go help yourself. And That's it was the way planes were meant to be. It was, like, a 13-hour yeah. flight. I got my fill of peanuts. It was wonderful. I was like, they made a mistake. They accidentally built the whole plane first class. The freaking idiots. <laughs> if I knew I could easily go walk down there and get some peanuts and walk around, like that would make 13 hours feel like nothing. It was it was pretty good. The bathroom's not stressful. You're not locked in with your knees like hooked up against your chest. The bathrooms Just to die or live. The bathrooms were still pretty tight. Yeah. Like, whatever, man. But it's a small there price was. to pay. Did you guys see that Casey Neistat video where he took a shower on a plane? Yeah. Why? It's pretty cool. Was he real stinky? Know. No. I mean, they just offer you the shit. It's like $20,000 yeah. to use the shower. There's a couple of reason. carriers that just have... wait! That yeah. have, like, I don't even... Luxury first class or, like, extreme first class. Yeah. You can take a shower on board. But the shower is literally... They're like, you have four minutes. The water shuts yeah. off after four minutes. Yeah. No matter how rich you are... You are still in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> we can't just give you enough, more they water. Someone, they can pay someone with that little, like, connector thing to fly up next to the plane and yeah. refill the water. Like, it's like one of those gun. things where, uh, where you know how, like, we live like kings, technically, by, like, medieval standards. Yeah. You know? This is taking it up another level, like, exactly. where the surfs. And they're in, the kings? In le no, like in, in like a hundred years, like people are gonna be flying and they're taking four minute showers for free. That's yeah. just complimentary, Whoa, man. Oh, no. Hey, as long as they're yeah. not flying United. <laughs> <laughs> Given the way it's going currently, I have a feeling to get on the plane, they're gonna put you in like one of those car crushers and then make little like cube areas for people to go into. Well, I can't even remember. And you just die. Like that's it. You're dead. You, you don't get off the plane. Like I might have told this story. It happened on the way back from Pax East. So like pre the United stuff. 
Um, there was, like, we got stuck at the airport because of that huge storm coming into Boston, right? And yeah. they, our flight was delayed, and there was a dude that was arguing with the Delta Gate agent. He's like, well, uh, my oh, medic that's oh, always that. supposed to be an hour flight, and my medication is in my bag, so I'd really like to, like, get my bag because I need my medication. And then the guy was like, sir, you should have thought of that before you put your medication in your bag. And he was like, I'm very upset right now. I can't believe that you would do this to me. And the Gate agent actually did, like, the condescending, like, I'm very upset right now. So, wow! Wow! wow that's your, so rude. your wow. plane is delayed. It's not his fault. Maybe he shouldn't have put his medication that might be life-saving into his checked luggage. That's pretty <laughs> stupid, but... The, when the gate agent did that, I was like, that's crazy! And then, because we were there for like four hours, I saw the uh, the gate agent talking to another person at the airport. And I imagine it was a stressful day if you worked at the airlines, because all your flights are getting cancelled and everybody's mad. But, yeah. like, somebody came up to the gate agent and gave him a hug and was like, how's your day going? And he's like... It's been pretty tough so far. Like, yeah, well, you're Aww. exacerbating the situation with your <laughs> juvenile attitude. What a sad guy. You also, just let him get his fucking bag, though. Oh, also. but, I mean, like, that's... It's already on the plane. Like, I don't... Yeah. You, they, you know, when they put the, all the luggage on the plane, they do, like, a... Cheep, cheep, cheep. They, like, drill huh. the compartment shut and, like... I get that oh, it would be a... Oh, actually do that? I believe so. Oh, okay. You don't I want the bags was... falling out at 100,000 feet, right? I, I, know, I, I get that it would be a huge mechanism. hassle, but like... Yeah, but I like, what if that guy an dies? an exception for medicine reasons. I agree. I, I do agree with that. Yeah. What? But what if that guy died? Because then that dude would have lost his job and the company would have been sued. St oh, well, the airline would have sued his family for their yeah. trouble. <laughs> no, still 40% yeah. of the Reddit comments would have been like... You sign a contract with the airline <laughs> when you purchase a ticket that they can end your life to arrive to the airport within 30 minutes of the scheduled yeah. landing time. That's true. If Actually, you didn't want to risk being killed over a mild inconvenience, <laughs> then you should just drive. Why don't you form your own airline then? I mean, people don't need internet, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, nobody needs internet. Well, I mean, really. if you're forced to do your taxes online, you might need it. Has anyone, by the way, have you guys ever been on, I, I'm dead. Has anyone been on a plane that actually had working Wi-Fi? Like, one wi -Fi time. That you I know it's happened. Really? I haven't seen it recently. I actually, I, one time. See, because the thing is, I've been on several planes that say they have Wi-Fi. Yes. Oh, and then I can explain why. Every why? single time it has not worked. The reasoning is, when you go into your browser on your phone, it yeah. does one of those things where it's like, okay, now click here to accept the terms of use, and then they say, okay, now you have to insert your credit card in the chair, and we're going to charge you $10 for, like, 10 megabytes of data. No, dude, I didn't even get that far. I didn't even, like, I just... Did I had you to get... open Safari? Because you have to open Safari. <laughs> it won't open on anything but Safari. No, dude, I've done. I've like I've been on <laughs> on several ones that uh, where, where even you had to, you got to do the sign in thing, but the internet just doesn't work, just straight up. I've had bosses that do that <clears> for sure. This is a yeah. Canadian airline that like I I feel you by the way like, oh, and yeah. I'm when I say you I mean airlines because you got these planes are built in like 1985 or something. They're still good yeah. for like another 30 years, right? Like, yeah, they're, they're still airworthy or whatever they say but now everybody's like i want a lcd screen in the back of my chair <laughs> the other airline has an lc and i'm with them i want that lcd screen so that costs a lot of money it takes air airplanes out of the rotation for a little while but there's a canadian airline that tried to beat the system by installing like wi-fi in all their planes i guess it's technically like an intranet and then they have uh like movies that you can stream from the in-plane wi-fi and it's the worst thing ever what if it they just, just pirated a bunch of movies on a hard drive and they're just restreaming them? <laughs> it just does not work. Like, you'd right. be like, oh, I'd like to watch uh, this movie. And then, you know, it takes like 10 minutes to get loaded. And then when it gets loaded, it buffers nonstop. And then eight minutes in, it just goes back to the start of the movie. And then you go, right. well, I'll just hit like fast forward. And it's like, oh, you, the, the highest no, speed no. available is <laughs> times two. And you're like, oh. God, it's gonna take yeah. <laughs> 45 minutes you know, to get back to where I was. I was being a little hard on Twitch earlier, but it's the closest thing to an honest to God miracle that we do this for a living and it actually works. Oh, for like real. 85% yeah. of the time. Yeah, that's, yeah, no, that's incredible. True. 
the rest of the world has not caught up with the technology that we are now finding mundane. At least we're past the era, and it was like this for like five years, where one person's seatback entertainment wouldn't work, and then they'd, they'd make an announcement like, Okay, everybody, we have to reset the whole <laughs> system because the screen doesn't work in 35F, so really sorry oh, about no. that. And then you're like, well, I'm not going to blame that, dude. I'm blaming the system, but do you really have to restart the whole thing? Can't you just give them an iPad or something? You know now the whole world would be against that person <laughs> for disrupting their fun. You yeah. know, if they announced the seat name, they'd figure out who it was, like reverse engineer it, and fucking hack their Twitter. <laughs> then if you're flying Air Canada, they got to do it in French too. Um. Yeah, <laughs> twice. Uh, avec de seat uh, 35. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Uh, Tabernacle. Jess is talking in my chat about her, uh, her airline experience where a lady was putting up uh, her feet on her seat. Um, uh, kept shaking around. No, mm, well, okay. so here's the thing. She took her shoes off, you know? People do that. It's a little we went bit over weird. that the other day, yeah. It's, it's a hit or yeah. miss. I don't accept it as a acceptable, but I have seen it. Well, here's the thing with this lady. It's not just she took her shoes off. Tabernacle. Then she subsequently <laughs> removed her socks. Means. Yes. Afterwards. See, that's where it's a problem. That that there there it gets into. Me. That's that's just unacceptable. Territory. Pretty dicey. In I was on opinion. a flight yeah. with. Um... You get one layer off. That's allowed. Like the yeah. for by me. But like when you take the other. If you, have, if you if you came in with flip flops, hey, you know what? You do what you got to do. But if you no. if you came in with socks and shoes, yeah, you you. you you don't, Socks you don't come get off, you go, hey, hey, tabernacle. You need, hey, <laughs> you need an, a layer of odor blocking, like Terry yeah. Crews said. Mm. We flew, I mean, this is like, we're I, there's nothing more boring than like people talking about flying, but <laughs> I, I like it nonetheless, and I, I think like it's right. We, um, we flew international in economy class once, and then at the front of like the economy compartment, they have these dividers where you can hang a bassinet in case you have a baby with you. So, like, that's where you put the baby in the thing, and then it's good to right, go. Right, right, yeah. Well, we were, yeah. like, right behind, one row behind the bassinet seat. The family, once we got the cruising altitude, just took their baby out of the bassinet and then filled the bassinet with all the trash they made <laughs> over the next, like, 11 <laughs> hours. They equated their child to trash? Yeah. And when the flight, Jesus. like, they just held the baby and then filled that thing with trash, and then the flight attendant came back, you know, it was like, hey, we gotta, you gotta put your baby in the bassinet. For landing, because that like safety protocols and stuff like that, she was just like, "What are you doing?" And she didn't say that, but you could tell the look on her face was like, "I guess I'll come back with the garbage bag so I can <laughs> put all the trash in there, so then you can put your baby in the previous trash can for landing." Like, <laughs> you only oh, have to funny. hold it. What's the longest flight in the world? Is like twenty hours or something like that. You gotta yeah. hold your shit together for less than one rotation of the Earth. That's it. Yeah. Then you can be whatever you want to be after that. That's kind of hard for some people. I'll some people barely have their shit together for ten minutes a day. No, that's actually mm -hmm. true. Good, good point, honestly. Do you see I that? There was a tweet, uh, or was it a Reddit story? Rob, you might know if it was a Reddit story. Okay. Where uh, this guy tweeted that he saw Lil Bow Wow uh, on his <laughs> plane. No, who I had tweeted that. himself that he was getting on a private plane and headed yeah. to New York, but he wasn't, and he caught him in the lie Correct. as he was on his plane. Whose man's is this? <laughs> That's very confusing. But I, I guess... didn't phrase that well. Do you want me to repackage that idea? In I mean, I, basically, Little Bow Wow was, was, was lying about how, how rich he is, basically. Yeah, okay. he was claiming he was on a private jet when he was taking a regular flight and someone recognized him and tweeted a picture <laughs> of his face. The, well, I, and the... Little Bow Wow had tweeted a picture of a private plane that he got off Google. Yes, that was my favorite point, that is best. that if you just Google, like, private plane, it's like the eighth result on image search or something. Oh, Bow Wow, how far you have fallen, <laughs> But friend. that story did teach me Little Bow Wow's real name. Oh, did it? I didn't catch it. His name is Shad Moss. Shad? Oh. Apparently that post was debunked as well. Shad or Shad? Shad. With an S. Shad with an SH. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay, that's the first person I know with that name. Yep. That's odd. His name is Shad Moss. Well, you know, basically don't lie about how rich you are, I guess. But that post was apparently debunked. 
Oh. God damn it. But I did bring it up to Dan yesterday in a Battlegrounds video that's not going to go up until like May 20th. So, like, right. I'm going to be dealing with that as well. The fallout of that being debunked for a while. <laughs> Fucking Wait, fake how news. Is it, how is All it right. debunked? It, well, he wasn't on the plane? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't read into how it was debunked. <laughs> yeah, I just... this is where we dig our grave even deeper then. See, this is one of those things where, like, people... I. I obviously am. Oh, am it was not one of the people here. <laughs> see, no, see, see exactly. now it's the other way. No, no, no. This is this is exactly my. This is exactly what I was about to say. I'm I'm also one of these people. It, all humans are. You read the headline, right, and yeah. you accept it as fact until there's something else comes out. But if something else comes out. It's just a headline too. You don't know if that's true. But either. no, no, no. You you got to go one step deeper. The the way you determine your first judgment of legitimacy is headline plus source. Because oh, any, yeah. anybody can buy an official looking domain and set up a WordPress site, you know? Not yeah. anybody. Well, Some I mean, people couldn't. When we're talking everybody about, has like, a son or grandson okay, or granddaughter that could buy a domain Jared for Kushner, them. Usually. <laughs> if you're talking about, like, what happened in Lil Bow Wow's life, I don't think I'm going to be, you know, going too hard into my sources to try to figure out what's going on, you know. <laughs> yeah, but we should, though. Him. It's good practice. I mean, yeah. Well, it's like, just, like, I if don't. you see news and it's from, like, you know, the Wellington Wellspring, and you look at it and you're yeah. like, ugh. Like, I don't know if I trust this headline that says, Cure for Cancer Literally Found. This time it's not a joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, and, and that's you go to the actual fair. article, it's, like, from 2003. Yeah, and like a, a scientist is like, don't read too much into this, but in three percent of mice, this reduced tumor size, you know. And five percent grew in a year. Huge if true. <laughs> yeah, that I, is correct. That like that's fair, but also it's like news about a funny, you know, it was a quirky thing that happened to this celebrity's life, you know. Like who cares? If it's true or not, really. Unless right, it's like well, something like... I could just like... make up lies about Ryan then, and that might be fun. I mean, people do that. Yeah. People write fan fictions all the time. That is true. There was the one guy who thought I faked my streak because sometimes I started a run, <laughs> and it was a continued run on the chest because I hit Alt F4 before the game's ending cutscene actually finished. <laughs> and then I'm like, I had to debunk it myself. Because, you know, I, and I'm talking about you guys in chat. The majority of people were like, well, jury's out. But there were some people like, well, finally, the truth comes out. It's an accusation, so uh, <laughs> nobody would just go and, like, lie on the internet, right? And I was like, no, actually, test it for yourself. Here's how it works. And he's like, oh, yeah, I mean, my bad, but, like, it still might not be legitimate. Okay, well, so you're just a dick then, basically. <laughs> he's like, well, I, all I wanted him to do was be like, hey, sorry I made this big, exposed, like, I hate you post before I even tested my own theory that took four seconds to replicate. <laughs> Instead, he was just like, well, I'm sure there's something else, so, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> See, that's the weird one for me, is when people will, like, like, they will they'll have something debunked and then, and see it's clearly a lie, and then be like, well, yeah, but it still could be. <laughs> it's like, well, well why? You just made it up! not true eventually in yeah. the right context. <laughs> the, I mean, there's also, like, the conspiracy when PewDiePie was playing Dark Souls 2. People were oh, like, I don't remember that he, he one. probably is, he's too good, oh, but he I think, to... I think he's an idiot, so I don't think it's conceivable that he could be beating Dark Souls 2 uh, this well, so he's probably paying someone else to get their <laughs> gameplay, and then he's recording his commentary over top. He has the greatest job in the world. He's making eight million dollars a year, releasing like one video a day, playing video games. And you think he's gonna, hmm, how could I fuck this up for no reason whatsoever? Why don't I get like a clandestine Dark Souls 2 surrogate somewhere, you know, off the grid. And instead of just oh, recording yeah. 30 minutes, and that could be my work day, and I'll make like $15,000, why don't I get him to send me his best of, and then I'll watch it, and then I'll script it, and then I'll make commentary over top of that, and then I'll edit it and upload it. In 20 years, there's gonna be a book that comes out, and it's like the real story of that PewDiePie didn't play any video games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually just a like a Sorosian conspiracy that he, all the uh, people start coming forward one after another. Wait, you were also hired to play video games as PewDiePie? <laughs> <laughs> That's really stupid. Yeah. All right. 
Oh, there was that, uh, you guys see, it was the top of r slash all of the, the, the Overwatch thing. Did you no, see that? I did not What's see Overwatch? that. <laughs> so basically, this one dude who's, I don't know, some popular uh, Overwatch content creator does giveaways all the time. Okay. And, and some guy used a fake name and claimed that he was the guy that was supposed to get a giveaway and said <laughs> that he didn't get that giveaway. And then... The, this dude who, you know, who did actually give out this thing to this real person had, like, death threats against him. <laughs> death for, threats? Yeah, for, man. Yeah. People are for ruthless. <laughs> and he debunks it, like, a day later, but it's like, there was, there was like, it was the number one post on r slash all about how much <laughs> of a piece of shit this guy was, and there was, like, zero proof. Like, nothing. So, like, you know... Wait, so the whole story is that he promised someone a game and they didn't get it. Well, you know, because it, it, it's tied up in so many things. Because if a streamer's doing stuff for giveaways, that's like a promotion for the streamer. And then if the yeah. streamer says, says like, hey, you won, you know, they get good press. But if they yeah, never yeah. give out the gift, then they're not actually, you know, squeezing the juice, you know? No, I'm right. just making sure that's the whole story. Like, that's what the death threats were about. Well, that well didn't get you could see how yes. if you... If you extrapolated it to like, you know, hey, I won a GMC Sierra from McDonald's Monopoly and they never gave it to me. You can see how yeah. people would be quick to be like, fuck the McDonald's Corporation. Right, yeah. And then later, right. if it was debunked, they would be like, well, I was wrong, but still, if that situation was true, you got to admit I would have been right. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> if, if they had done that, they would be dicks, right? Yeah. So like... But the other thing like is that five dollar he... copy of McPixel on Steam. <laughs> I forgot what it was that he. I, oh, he gave him like a fifty dollar like Starbucks gift card or something. But he also he did actually give That's... that thing out. It wasn't even like I know, was... but yeah. I'm trying to play with the theoretical of what they even were upset about. Now. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. I almost would rather have the McPixel copy than the Starbucks. That is card. ridiculous. <laughs> I'd definitely rather have the 50 bucks. That was a Steam gift card. Okay, there you go. Steam gift okay, card. well, then I'll take the Steam gift card. Yeah, 50 sure. bucks on Steam. I mean, it's, a, it's a game, you know? I, don't, I just don't really go to Starbucks is why I would you have could, very little You could sell the Starbucks gift card for like $48. Yeah, or you could sub to 10 streamers on Twitch. Also the true. Starbucks gift card. Or two oh, streamers. Oh, you Starbucks one for that? I didn't know that was in there. I mean, I don't know if you can, but you can. There's like 600 different payment methods, and like I know 500 of them there. are. Yeah, I, I assume that a Starbucks gift card would work All on right. Twitch. That's that's a but valid I reason. I didn't think of that. Yeah, there you go. Thank you for the background commentary while I study. It helps a lot. All right, loud noises on three, two, one, three, Boom. two, one. Boom. I didn't know there were sustained loud noses. I thought it'd... Enjoy failing your exam, you fucker. <laughs> Get wrecked. Yeah, enjoy the, the lack of forward momentum and incredibly downward facing trajectory your life is going to take. <laughs> Did you yeah. see the post? I, I forget what subreddit it was on. Apparently, it's airline and Reddit hour, but um, <laughs> it was. <sighs> It was like today I fucked up or something like that. But the guy was like, he's a server at a Mexican restaurant, and then this, uh, like, family came in, and it was a couple and their college-age daughter. He's like, hey, folks, uh, what can I do for you today? And the, the dad was like, well, hello there. We're celebrating our daughter's uh, graduation from college with her English degree. And then the server just said, whoa, that's awesome. Uh, I've got a master's degree in English literature. So anyway, can I bring you guys some chips and salsa? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good and that bad. Good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Has that really been debunked good. yet? Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's, That's true. You don't know if that was true. I was they actually filming in Mexicala Rosas at that time, and uh... <laughs> uh, classic. I love yeah. that you could just say like, "Yeah, you know how two people talk to each other once, hypothetically." Mm. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> we got the Prove chat it, yeah. logs. I mean, the thing I mean is if you too, got the Google that... Goggles, maybe you could. Google Goggles! Google Goggles. The the thing is, too, though, like, when, it, when it's, like, something like that... Like, I, I always see that all the time on Reddit when, uh, when people are, like... Like, you know, it's like a funny text conversation or something, and people are like, Uh, you know, there's a website where you can, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, who cares? Sometimes, though. Somebody! <laughs> 
There are some where it's like, you know, an, a text yeah. conversation with like their girlfriend, and the girlfriend is like, I want to suck on your dick and cook you a ribeye steak. And then the guy's like, Yeah, whatever, baby. And then. <laughs> So it's a very strange example. And then you're like, that's a conversation like that is... You have fabricated that, and you're leading a weird life right now of sadness, but... Like, while that's true, at the same time, like, if the... Like, does does it being real, is that the only thing that made you laugh of a thing? I think it's like... sort of like, you know... It depends if it's being presented as real. Because, like, stand-up comedians right. always go, like, well, it reminds me of the story that happened the other day. The story did right. not happen in, like, 99% exactly. of scenarios. But it's kind of like a non-verbal agreement between the audience and the, the comedian. Whereas, it's like, check out this conversation I had with, uh, oh, my dog rolled over onto the telephone and accidentally ordered a pepperoni it's, pizza. And then... It's like finding out amateur porn was shot by a bunch of, like, <laughs> veterans. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Right? That would just ruin the whole freaking agreement. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like they do that. I actually would no, prefer not that because I would be like, thought of that. they're being compensated fairly for their time, which is the basis of any capitalist society. So, but right, in fair, the yeah. opposite direction, if it's an amateur porn director, there's a better chance that they will make a better split amongst everybody that's involved, and they won't have to dissolve all the assets. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true. I think amateurs what? are just professionals in waiting, man. In waving? In, in in waiting. <laughs> Professionals in waving. Waving is like Ohio or <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> it's, it's getting it's getting weird. Yeah. But let's just keep going that way. Let's see where that goes. Yeah, all right, yeah. Uh uh Babaka. But, um, uh, I don't poop from there. Bapanada Mobadis. Bapa nice, uh, yeah. Kimchi. Kim Jong Chi. No. Dude, I'd watch a okay. Kim Jong Il porn. porn. Yeah, I'd watch a Kim Jong Il porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's me, a... Alphonse Sax, the inventor of the saxophone from East Flanders. I would watch a Kim Jong Il porn. Oh, Nietzsche. That's all it took for the Swedish accent to come back and not be a really <laughs> racist impression of an Indian accent is for me to almost do a Belgian accent. <laughs> right, yeah, it was basically the same thing. I was playing uh, Bubga with Alex yesterday, actually. Oh, Hopefully Bear Taffy. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, him. No, Butter Waffle Man. Yeah, I know. Actual Butter Waffles. So Cam, like, summoned him back into reality, and then now everyone's back together? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I don't know. Cam dissolved from reality. He, he may did, have been yeah. in Canada, he may not have. No yeah. one can be sure. Did he dissolve and from reality, Alex, or did he just go live a normal adult life away from the internet. Yeah, he did that, which is basically dissolving from reality. Let's be honest. It's our reality. Sometimes Good I would enough. like to dissolve from reality then. <laughs> that's why you go to Japan, right? Yeah, but you miss all the great true. memes. Yeah, there's no memes in reality, so you have to be comfortable with I that. I saw idea. an old lady fall off her bicycle. That was kind of like a living meme yeah. in many ways. I saw a man fall yeah. down a set of stairs with a bag of glass. Too. I didn't see it, I just heard it. Oh, you heard it. No. But it was That's unmistakably really a bag of glass, or a, a box of glass, rather. But right, yeah, no, of course, yeah, definitely a box. I'm trying to punch well, look, holes in my story here. All I'm saying is, he was so detached from the internet that, like, when I asked him what he's been watching, he was like, "I, you know, I watch YouTube videos sometimes. I've been getting into that uh, that uh, he he productions guy." <laughs> 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 Stupid moron. Like... It's H3H3 H3 I've never production. even heard of anyone saying it that way yet. Until now. Some, some kind of fucking idiot. <laughs> Is that apparently, actually what that's meant to be? Well, apparently they, they were originally going to be he he, according to a single person in chat that mentioned that yesterday during Am the I the one that's so out of know. touch? I don't know. But I found it hilarious as well, so you know. He <laughs> he. That was an yeah. ohm wrecker. <laughs> that is an ohm wrecker. Yeah, pretty he much. That sound all the time before he dissolved from reality. Michael Jackson sound. Yeah. <sighs> no, it wasn't Alex that said that. Alex was talking about butter lawfuls nonstop. Mm, about their lawfuls. <laughs> <laughs> Unironically, though, I do really want to try butter waffles. Dude, they yeah. seem pretty good. I've had them on many occasions. They're yeah. a pretty good food. I, it's Are they like buttery? 
Sort of. Yeah, that's a good question. They're it, like, on the con. Zero to ten buttery. How, uh, how well, I mean, buttery. they're not buttered, but it's like, clear Ritz that Ritz Cracker is like a six buttered. They are less buttery than a Ritz Cracker. Oh, I'm out. Mm, they're still delicious yeah. though. Are they? They more? Are they more like of a sweet type of thing? Yes. Huh. Okay. How well do you think they'd take butter if you put more on it? You shouldn't. Uh, this is everything wrong with America. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How crispy? Rob's putting salt on a ham, a food that literally lived in a salt bath for like three weeks. You're trying to so butter your chicken. waffles. There's only like six ingredients of waffles. It's like <laughs> butter is the big one. The other one is flour. I'm just saying, you should really salt and pepper. Maybe this is why Kate doesn't want your sandwiches. You she know, likes my sandwiches. sandwiches. She just doesn't like them as much as like no. a sweet like. store-bought sandwich, which I think is completely fair. I don't know. I make a mean sandwich, man. Dude, I, your sandwich couldn't sack up. I'm just gonna be honest with you. And I believe oh, your I believe your sandwiches could be good, but it's like unless you're slow cooking your own brisket in house for a one lunch sandwich, there's an economy of scale that the restaurant hits okay. you can't conceivably hit. In you fairness, you didn't it, tell I mean, me it was a brisket. You didn't sandwich. ask. I mean, that's like that's a hard. I can't, you can't hit that with anything. I know. That's what I'm you saying. You make brisket. Yeah, but you're not gonna make brisket. To make one sandwich out what of it. What if you made seven sandwiches out of it and you even kept them in the refrigerator for a week? Even that is almost too much. If you're gonna talk to me about saving time, you know, just go to the freaking grocery store, buy a, you know, 300 grams of ham. What is your aversion to making sandwiches pre Dude, prepared I, ahead of time? Because it compromises the bread integrity to an extreme degree to keep them in the fridge. You don't have to put the bread around them. Then you're not making a sandwich in advance. You're assembling the innards of a sandwich like some kind of freaking serial killer, and then scooping it out of box. a bowl. <laughs> you keep a little box filled with brisket, and as you need it, you pull it. Yeah, but that's not making sandwiches in advance. That's making brisket it's making in advance. The materials that are for the sandwiches. There's intended to be you sandwiches. You got a leg to stand on. Your cow got tipped in this one. <laughs> I made cows. some extra rice yesterday, no, and. Okay, good. I, I made, I didn't actually, um, but I made, kept cows. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I made, uh, I made some extra rice and I made some fried rice today. Dude, it's a great idea. Having you extra made rice. extra rice. How dare you? Dude, you, here's the thing. You're going, uh, I put jet fuel in my coffee and then I'm going, no, oh, Tennessee no, no, tried no. That. I'm going, don't put jet fuel in your coffee. It's bad for you. And you're going, what do you have against jet fuel? I got nothing against jet fuel, jet fuel when it's in an airplane. If it Robert's, Mountain Dew Robert taking 40 minutes to make rice means that it makes a lot of sense for him to make multiple portions at the same time because it extends the cooking time by zero, becomes way more functional. You're Ma making my brisket argument right now. The br I'm not arguing against cooking brisket. I'm just saying, if you want a sandwich on demand, you know, and you're like, oh, we'll have a brisket sandwich. What's more efficient, to go to the store or to go build a time machine, <laughs> buy some brisket, slow cook it at home, slice it up, and then have it in the fridge ready for this exact moment? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I'm all for meal prep. Just for meals that make sense. No, you're not. You're very much not. I'm I mean, extremely stop talking about I'm it. extremely pro meal prep. Like when I was in college, cook a pot of chili, eat that every day for dinner for like five days in a row. What I don't do is go, I'm gonna save time by pouring seven separate bowls of cereal and then putting them in my cereal cupboard with a spoon <laughs> in them, and I got a little syringe of milk that's attached to the side, so I'm good to go. That's, they call it a sidecar. That's an A and E show right there waiting to happen. <laughs> Just because I keep the milk in a syringe doesn't mean it's a problem. We call it milk squirters. Yeah. That's a different show, actually. Yeah, so I watch be milk squirters. <laughs> Is that before or after the Bean Crusher show? Mm. I can't remember which order they come in. That's uh, during, I believe. During. Yeah. Yeah. I really like when they crush the beans between their toes. You can't when even I... toast a sandwich <laughs> and then bring it to an office job and put it in the fridge. Because by the time lunch rolls around, three and a half hours later, you pull it out, the bread's all like weird and cold. And like to toasted bread has to be consumed close to the time of creation. Mm. It yeah, loses something in the, in the glacial Holocene that pr proceeds. What's a Holocene? It's That's an, a word I don't it's know. It's an epoch in uh, 
the history it's of like a planet. Halcyon. You've seen uh, it written before, but probably didn't realize that. Like, oh, I know Halcyon. when that hollow scene. <laughs> I didn't know it was pronounced that way, actually. Yeah. What if you're into right, cold so bread? Uh, here's my you, impression you of metal, you learn all these words. freaking conversation Sorry. with Twitch chat. A reasonable opinion. Oh, but what if? Extremely unreasonable thing. <laughs> I mean, you're <laughs> the one who brought in rocket fuel in a fucking rice. That was an analogy, though. and analogies are exempt from that. <laughs> are they? Are they? Uh, I think uh, carbon's a pretty good element. Ooh, what if you're allergic to carbon? <laughs> I just don't think you should prepare for anything before it happens. You should do it immediately that as is, you need that it. That is a logical extreme right there. <laughs> oh, fuck. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, if you're having sex, why put on the condom until you come? Oh, here's my... I might have sex next week. Might as well put on the condom now. See? Two can play that game. <laughs> Why would I waste time at the moment? <laughs> I'd rather just have it ready to go for when the moment comes up. Maybe I'm wearing one right now. You're never going to know. You know, people do put on condoms to jerk off. Yep. Why? But do they know. put on they condoms? Do. Into them. do they put on condoms in the morning if they're going to jerk off at night? Probably. That, that's what they I They put ask. them on to protect their wood. I mean, to be honest, with you, there's there's a dude who comes in a box for 10 years, so there's probably yeah, a dude true. who puts a condom yeah, on all day. There's probably a couple of them, to be honest with you. It's called a posh wank, according to chat. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Never no. heard of that one. I guess, like, instead of being basically free, it's slightly more expensive than that. Oh, come on. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> Wait, what's the basically part? Oh, I was How factoring in the cost of, cost like, you a tissue. You can <laughs> right, just yeah. back it into the forest. Yeah. That, well, then it costs yeah. you You don't have to pay for the forest. I was well, how did you get bowl. to the forest? You live next to it. Did you walk to the forest? You could jack it into a pile of dirt. I don't care. <laughs> it costs you the calories that you used in order to jack it, so oh my God, that requires so yeah, food. Yeah, but you can get alive. that from the stuff on the ground in the forest. Yeah, but how are you walking to the forest? Be, At be some my, point, maybe you, you were born in the forest. <laughs> Just jack But how did you? Leg. How did you care. live for that long? Then <laughs> you're eating the mushrooms, the forest shrooms, the shrooms of the forest. Even digestion costs energy. <laughs> oh yeah, god, it costs a lot more than in that in that uh, uh, line of thinking. Cash, <laughs> grass, or ass? Nobody jacks for free. <laughs> yeah, except for Jack Nicholson. Mm. Don't stop he till you come. <laughs> Ew. I mean, that's how you do it. Yeah, <laughs> Most the of devil. the time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Have seen the oh, devil oh, come in the pale moonlight? Uh, yeah, I've seen that. It's on really? Art. <laughs> yeah, right. No, the devil true. is also shaped like an animal. Yeah, mm -hmm. and wearing a police vest. <laughs> Was the animal a rabbit? <laughs> uh... Yes, actually. Is there a picture slash video of Judy Hopps using a rabbit on her rabbit vagina? Oh! Because that oh! be next level, right? You just leveled it up. It's rule 35, exactly, motherfucker. Exactly, dude. That's, <laughs> we've gone one level deeper into that rabbit's oh, vagina. That's, that's a slippery rabbit hole to get down into. <laughs> That I, you just brought up there. I here's why I'll never be an elected official. First off, I don't want to. Secondly, this conversation. Well, yeah, but like here's what I'm gonna say. Because you'd think like I'd be able to mobilize the youth vote, but here's why I won't be able to. Yeah. I think people jerk it too much. <laughs> I, I know that connected to that, there's like you know some people grew up in an environment that shames sexuality, and I'm not trying to be that. I'm not saying you should never jerk it, but. I've, you know, I've been in chat with you guys, not you guys, but chat specifically. When they don't think I'm there, I think you guys jerk it too much. You're always talking about it, and moreover, you talk about it like a sommelier for jerking it. You know, is it, you ever talk to, like, <laughs> like? somebody who, who doesn't drink that much, and they're like, yeah, I like red wine. But these people are not like, I like red wine. They're like, I can only get drunk on this kind of vintage from this region of this particular part of the world. <laughs> and even then, I get bored with it after a couple of days. And I'm like, well... So that's I why mean, if I was, like, mayor, I would just make it illegal. 
mayor. So if you were a female horse, If I was a mayor, like, like, <laughs> I would make it <laughs> illegal to join. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I mean... Know. I think if you're part of any industry long enough, you're going to develop a taste and a bit of a critique-oriented yeah, uh, mindset toward things. industry, though. <laughs> I'm saying that if jacking it, it means a lot to you, you're going to start to have tastes about what kind of jacking it does it for you better than others. Yeah, but the it's more the you feed that works. beast, the more you become that beast, you know? The jerking yeah. it beast? The jerking we it are beast, all yeah. a beast inside. Yeah, well, you know... Like Judy Hopps. Probably. There there are probably people who, by now, I mean, it's already, we've already been running for like an hour, right? There's yeah. probably people who have left the stream, or even left it on, jerked it, and came back. I assume, now. you know, <laughs> if we get like 5,000 people watching each show, I generally yeah. assume that at least a couple of people probably just jerked off in the middle of it. Because, I mean... <laughs> that's, that's probably true, yeah. As weird as this sounds, why wouldn't you? If nobody's around you, you just, you know... You don't even have to throw us on mute if you don't want to. Probably when we went, ah, that was like the moment of, <laughs> of completion. But I, I thought maybe it was a little deflating, but you never know. <laughs> the, yeah, there, there's a lot of people confirming. I don't know if they're all telling the truth, but I mean, I would imagine. Yes. A no good percentage of them. Yeah. Maybe it's one of those <laughs> moments where they're going like, yeah, I totally jerked off. Wink, wink. But actually, they did. You know, like the ironic right. admission that absolves you of guilt. Yeah, uh, yeah right, officer. Right, right. I murdered him. Okay, good one. <laughs> wink, wink. But Just keep this in I mind, did. Ryan. The next time you do an Isaac video and you like censor yourself for saying fuck and need to say fudge instead. Oh, I know. But the thing is, like, I'm already making money on the Twitch side of this. So if the if the NLSS vod gets demonetized, then uh, I'm okay with it. Okay. But the eyes again. That's gonna really put a damper now? on us if we ever have to completely. No, 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 no. You like the ads have come back on YouTube. Now I'm just kind of mining it for humor anyway. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. But it, there was like, there was like a really. I mean, everybody on the YouTube side of things is extremely. They got like a hair trigger for anxiety, which is horrible to be a part of. Because nobody can believe this is still a job. Yeah. So we're all yeah. ready for it to fall apart. But like, I saw, I definitely saw some posts that were like, the. YouTube out. YouTube is freaking out. They've developed an algorithm that scans your videos for the F word and sometimes even the S word, and then Whoa, it automatically puts you in like the mature category for advertisements. Jeez. And I was like, all right, starting tomorrow, NL's Lego channel. <laughs> I'm making slime. It's Three going times up. a day. Yeah. Old man makes slime. The YouTube makes channel. Makes you wonder why YouTube hasn't changed to a different model than the advertising model uh, by now. Makes you wonder. Makes well, you it wonder. works for Vivo. Yeah, yeah. And that's what makes the money, really. Music videos. You know, oh. I was, uh... Whoa. I was, oh, sorry. I was, uh, 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 <laughs> I was, uh... Close encounters. Opening up... Oh, God, it's... So, NBA Playgrounds. Apologies. Um... But um, mm, but we are playing golf next. Are we? Are you guys? Are we? Are, are, you, you all right there, Robert? Yeah, we're playing golf. But we're, we're already we're already good. We're 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 moving I on. I just finished. I oh, have perfect. not finished. I'm on the chest. Gross. Okay, that's. I'm gonna finish hey, on the chest. Hey, Austin. Oh, hello. Austin. Hello. Think fast. Do people jerk off too much? Yes. Okay. See, he agrees with me. Is that yeah. what is that what we were arguing? Because I un I unmuted your stream for a second, and I heard what amounted to the most ridiculously strange like analogy I've ever heard. Was it about yeah, uh, the rocket fuel one? <laughs> is it the it jet was fuel? The, no, people with alcohol. Oh, the Somali. Yeah, they're they're masturbation Somalis. If you're a part of any industry you love, but you're this gonna is not an industry. Critique-minded <laughs> mindset. I just didn't understand the analogy, like, because I unmuted, so I missed the context. So to me, you basically said, all oh, people who only mm. can get drunk to specific kinds no, of okay. alcohol. Here's the thing. And then suddenly, as, so as mayor, I banned jerking off. Like, that right, yeah. connection <laughs> made no sense. <laughs> that was the point at which I, I took 
my reasonable point and wrapped it in an absurd conclusion to <laughs> pass the conversational ball to somebody else with a lot of fuel. It started out to it. with him saying, "This is why I don't want to run for elected office." Yes, right. That's yeah. the important because I can't the get the youth story. vote because I'm not anti-masturbation, but I'm anti like this much masturbation. And I'm on, when I'm mayor, I'm going to require it. So <laughs> there's going to be two different types of world that you can live in, and mine will be better. Boy, what do you what do you mean that there's no industry for masturbation? Well, I'm, no, I'm not saying there's no pornographic industry. I'm like saying just because you jerk off for free doesn't make you part of it. It's like saying you work in the snack food what? industry because you eat a lot of Cheetos. So you're saying if you just make art for yourself, you can never be an artist? Look, that is way that's too far. bullshit argument. That's right? ridiculous. <laughs> First off, we're not talking about art. We're talking about cum. Can cum <laughs> can cum be art? Just because you don't take art? cum seriously doesn't mean it's not art. Oh, what, what do you do for work? Oh, let's say I'm big into the adult industry. Oh, no, I have no role in its production, merely consumption. But at the same time, I'm very switched on to the trends of the industry. Nothing wrong with that. Thanks for the subscription, Austin. No problem. Um, which golf are we playing? Nick, which golf would you like to play? I, I'm still on Isaac. I'm finishing the blue baby fight right now. But after that. Yeah, but after that. Happens. Oh, well, after that, I can't really tell you. What do you want to play? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna flip a coin. All right, uh, flip a coin. Okay, and uh, oh, oh god, I'm not looking at it. Uh, heads Ed. is golf with friends. Uh, tails is golf it. It's tails. It's golf it. All right. You said it so passionately, like we were gonna think there's something wrong if you hadn't <laughs> seen it. <laughs> I had to close my eyes and put my hand over the screen. But so you could have just said either one, and you didn't need to flip a coin. It's the well, same I mean... fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. But, like, is golf. It's golf, it has new maps, chat's saying? I've been studying wow. for this Unity yeah, test, right? Game. Like, this certification exam. And then, like, every lecture starts off with, okay, start a new project, put in a, a sphere, and then a cube, and then scale it to make a vertical plane. And I'm like, I've just made 70% of a golf game that I can put on Steam. <laughs> it actually, like, it looks exactly <laughs> the same. I'll play it. I love golf. Dude, I'm uh, down for golf. I can't make the net code, so that's, you know. This is but you like probably golf. could, though. I, I No, I mean, maybe, but I have no idea what that entails, so. All, All right, I'm saying is Isaac, I heard you from... To play this again. Look, you just check the box. Game just check the box. Oh, okay. yeah, hey, hey, uh, hey. hey, Ryan, we won that, that game, by the Dude, way. I was watching it, and I was like, they got this. There's no doubt. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you felt that way. I was, you guys were, you were switched on. As soon as you made it out of that spicy uh, Novo, there was no problem. Mm. Yeah, spicy we didn't Novo. Go to Novo. You spicy were at Novo, Novo on that one. We were at Georgie. Oh, you we were at Georgie. We did a wave, 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 and pumped all the way to the 4X Scopies, and then they went down to Healy Hospice and then took out Nick, a wheelie. you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you can't have it both ways, buddy. I want to have it both ways. Uh, I know right. all of the lingo because I am hip. <laughs> <laughs> there is a god. <laughs> I am hip. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, All right. I wish they laughed at funny things I said instead of when the code cuts out. Didn't Dan Boy say he was joining? He's going to join for Long Dong. Okay, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Long Dong, dude. I'm going yeah. to go to the bathroom. Nice, 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 nice. 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 Nick just said in the usual episode, except no one's yelling at mouth. You said nut, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys think, well, while he's not here, do you guys think Ryan's too imposing with his sexual values? Yes. yes. Yeah. I just wanted Definitely. to make sure on the same page. Mm -hmm. No, that's it's, a problem. It's a little to his, to be honest. his values about sandwiches, to be honest. Yeah. Really overbearing about it. Mm-hmm. Over so overbearing. Glorious silver. <laughs> I don't want to play that. In glorious slippers. Slippers. Tippers. Oh, I wrote gold. Gold Dippers? with friends. How come they don't have a, a video game uh, simulator game where you can do the thing where you flip the bottle onto the table and then all your bros go like, "Whoa, oh my god!" They have about oh, yeah. four hundred of those on on your phone. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. No, I am right. They are. I've seen. That's them. pretty hilarious. I keep telling you about Egg Inc, man. You gotta download it. I was playing it yesterday while I was pooping. Egg. Egg Inc. It's like egg a, inc. a roll of ball kind of game, but with an egg. The, well, no. But close. In that it's not. 
what am I thinking of? There was an egg game on Steam that was about rolling an egg home. Uh, I have no called, idea. Like, roll the egg home. This is a, this is an incremental game. It might be roll, roll the egg home for some reason that egg uh, home Steam. Do you think NL is a parody of being an adult? Yeah, probably. Actually, it's oh, like a egg caricature. Returns. It's called Egg Returns Home. Nice. The egg is a mustache, and you roll it over spikes. He's just doing all the things he thinks adults are supposed to do. What are you right, talking yeah. about? It's this <laughs> motherfucker, <laughs> like, Bantam, he's a 26-year-old man. He's playing... Hey, I'm 27. All right, he's a 27-year-old man. Yay! He's, he's playing Battlegrounds with Austin. He's getting popsicle juice all over his hands. And he's... The, <laughs> this is the guy you're taking adult life advice from. You're like, hey, that guy's trying too hard because he likes kale. Yeah, he only likes <laughs> kale because he thinks he should like kale because he's an adult, not because it's a delicious vegetable that also happens to be good for you. Don't call it delicious. Kale Don't is you good. Sit there and call it delicious. Well, like raw you kale. Fucking liar. La raw kale is not that good, but kale yeah. in a salad Somebody is good. Thing? You can host. You can host. You can host. You can host. Wait, make sure you go to Properties Beta's experimental version? Wait, there's that's, an experimental That's golf with your friends. That's golf with your friends. Yeah, that's a different one. That's a different one. Oh, there's a new map on golf with your friends is what people are saying. Oh. Intriguing. Mm, kale is for people oh. with no taste. Yeah, okay. Let's get in a fucking 900 week long argument about whether pineapple belongs on pizza because we're so cultured. <laughs> You know what's funny about Hawaiian pizza? I was reading about this yesterday on a TIL on Reddit. Um, it was invented in Canada. Yes, that is correct. Also, also the Resident Evil movies. Also true. Uh, it, also, apparently, uh, pineapple is not a common part of uh, traditional Hawaiian cuisine. Apparently. Really? Seriously? According to Reddit commenters, yes. Oh, so then that's just wrong. I mean, I don't know. There's like a bunch of them talking about it. But again, like, who like who cares? But like that root they like a lot. What's that root called? The pineapple's not native to Hawaii. Is that true? Yeah, it's not. If you had asked me where pineapples come from, I probably would have said Hawaii. Where would you say now that you know it's not Hawaii? It's got to be someplace in the tropics. Then it's got to be Central America. No, 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 no. no. Uh, pineapples are Altaro. from Georgia. It's be like some Polynesian stuff then. Uh, first Europeans go to Okay, they found them in the Americas. Whoa! Where in the Americas? Yeah. Oh, tell me it's actually Georgia. Central, Central Florida. America. Uh, the plant is indigenous to South America and it's said wow. to originate from the area between southern Brazil and Paraguay. There you go. That was close. So, yeah. wow, it was brought close, by the Europeans. Hey, yeah, motherfucker. Great, great guess. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, in fairness, there's also the thing where, like, there's a lot of traditional, like, European dishes that contain, like, you know, corn and potatoes and shit. And, like, those... <laughs> those were, uh, those were New World things. Nice shot, guys. Good, good, yeah. good hole, good hole. Time for the New World Order, not the time that makes you run for the border. It's a new religion wrapped in a revolution with a proven solution for your mental pollution. Yeah. Tomatoes are also a New World vegetable. Did That's you correct. Know that? Yes. Yeah. It's crazy. It's not that crazy. It's pretty. I mean, like, what did Europeans? They must have been eating shit for like thirty million years. Well, it like, should tell you everything you need to know that they got in wars over spices. Yeah, that's so, a fair point. They'd be like, man, I would rather have like a 15% chance to die than continue to eat this unseasoned food that I eat every day. <laughs> Go yeah, on that SMP real bad. Even the rich people were like, <gasps> this is worth it. Oh! Yeah, oh, yeah but here we go. Oh! Damn it. Yeah, you are supposed to go slow on this. Back in the day, tomatoes, they used to actually <sighs> gift them from one family to the other down to generations. That's why they're called heirlooms. This is not really? correct. <laughs> they were a huge commodity. It was a big deal for them. <laughs> Well, tomato, they came from. They and when Julius originally... Caesar returned from Gallia, he said, Bring me your finest vegetables and baked bread products. I would like to make a salad, and thus the Caesar salad was born. Wow, that's huge. I had no idea. Huge. Oh, <laughs> he's done it. That, uh. Oh! 
Oh my god! Why did that did you work? See that? that was amazing. <laughs> Dude, but yeah, no, they originally thought tomatoes were, uh, poisonous, because they're part of the Nightshade family. Isn't that like a Marvel character? Yeah, the Nightshade family. They, uh, <laughs> they it's battle Batman. It's a whole family Batman. of mutants. Yeah, they <laughs> battle Batman regularly. <laughs> they battle Batman regularly. Regularly. You know what? Wait, that'd you be know a DC what? character, by the way, Rob, not a Marvel That's character. That's not a DC character. That's, uh, he's actually from Detective Comics. It's a totally different oh. thing. Oh! I'm really doing another down, giant popsicle, by the way. You can't eat two popsicles <laughs> in the same day. And this isn't an adulthood thing. It's just That's an adulthood thing. No, that's, that's just... Doing. That's not two popsicles in one day. That's two popsicles, like, less than a quarter of a day apart. Popsicle. Yeah. yeah. That's, it's what a popsicle is it? He's an adult. He can choose what he I'm eats. a grown-ass man. Grown-ass man. <laughs> He's a grown-ass man. It's just he too many popsicles. That's fine. It's He's not like not fine. Like it's not lethal, but it's like the food balance is all off. It's just yeah, ice and sugar. Lethal. I had some microwave hot dogs before I had this popsicle. Nice, dude. Six popsicles should last you a week. That's just That's, ridiculous. What if there's I mean, two of you? Well, then six popsicles per person per week. How hard is it to make a popsicle? It's probably not that hard, right? Oh, like, I mean, the ones in the little ice cream. Here's the right? problem, though. The thing, yeah. I, I like popsicles. I'm a popsicle fan. I heard Austin yeah. say I don't even need popsicles anymore because ice cream's available. I disagree. I like both of them. But I will say you would never make popsicles because they're not good enough for the amount of time required to freeze the water. Mmm. I'm, I've never been in a situation where I'm like, I would like to have a homemade popsicle in four hours. <laughs> I want a popsicle never now. Wanted a homemade popsicle. Well, you make That's it fair. so then that they stay in the freezer, and then when you want one later. But I never want a popsicle very, later. I just want a popsicle. This is you a know? gross extension of the make a sandwich for later argument. I it's feel not like. even. <laughs> I'm just being honest. There's, if I have to wait four hours for a popsicle, I'd rather just eat something else. Cold. Yeah, but like, but, I mean, you it's can make one of those, you know, you, the best time of planting a tree is, you know, 20 years ago. Yeah, but if you right? do that, you get a tree. If you do this, you yeah. get frozen water. Yeah, and yeah, also, what also happened to the other 19 years? years? Like, what happened <laughs> yeah. there? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, technically, happened, okay, you know? yes. The <laughs> second best time to plant a tree was one yeah, day right? after 20 years ago, and then the third best years, time... 364 <laughs> days ago. Can I get a list of the top 200 best times to plant a tree? <laughs> <laughs> like, There's loads of them. Thank you, Monus Mick, for the 100 bits. You spend the few minutes making some popsicles, then you have a popsicle every day for like a week or two. Like, He hates that, though. Oh you can God. buy popsicles from the store. You can buy a tree from the store. Mm, he's got a good point. You can't yeah, buy it from the store. From the, store. the point is creating your own. Well, what's the way? How's your homemade popsicle, Bear? Of... <laughs> it's delicious. I had to take it out of the box and freeze it and wait a whole like 24 hours before I could eat. <laughs> this is ridiculous. They come pre frozen. You get them in the frozen food I gotta section. Say, no, 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 dude. I got otter pops, man. What are otter pops? Otter pops? Otter? Otter? Yeah, I didn't know either. You know, you know exactly what they, what they are. You know what they are, but it's just a weird name that I've never heard. Yeah. Huh. It's the, the popsicles. The, the, popsicles. the popsicles, popsicles that, that you, you snip the plastic popsicles. off the top and you push it from the bottom. It's like a little oh, plastic. Oh, a push pop. Yeah. It's like a push no, no, it's, it's not a push pop. pop. Push pop has uh, a little. Like, that's a candy, dude. Yeah, this is a. This is. It is sugar water in a plastic tube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, we got. so bad. Apparently, Bethesda won't send us review copies, but they sent us in the mail some prey swag but in oh, the really? prey swag i don't know if you've seen it on twitter they said like a banana holder with a banana inside of it because it's like futuristic mm, but right. it had what? to come across international waters right <laughs> bananas <laughs> <laughs> all like oh my God. black and decrepit <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it's a rotten banana. It smells so bad. weird, man. <laughs> That's horrible. Do they not know food is perishable? <laughs> Why in the world would they send a banana? Just send me a code, you weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's truly mind boggling. <laughs> At least it's in a holder, otherwise, it would have just been a bunch of mush. Here's some garbage we mailed you. That's true. <laughs> Review our sir. game with your. <laughs> <laughs> You ruined my house, but your game's game. all right. Kate, don't throw it out yet. 
You should you at least tweet about it. You gotta get take, the take a picture yeah. of it so I can tweet about it later. <laughs> <laughs> no storing it for later, but tweeting's okay. Yeah. 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 Also, what's Bear, what's up with every time we talk to you? Your your family is either freezing or unfreezing something. Mm, Wait, good question. He has a good point. <laughs> no, they, establish the <laughs> pattern for me. Uh, well, Elisa had an Encrustable that she wanted to defrost. That was and... dethawing, yeah. And now you want to freeze popsicles to eat them later. I mean, you typically approach me at the time of day I'm used to consuming food. Frozen food. It's always frozen, frozen, frozen or becoming unfrozen. Look, I, I did get it. I've, I've been grilling stuff. Okay, well, <laughs> Wait, yeah, hold on. Okay, what are you playing? Do you have them with you right now? Okay. Hey, okay. I bet there was a plate and then like a, a water bottle or something. No. Okay, well, we're off. I'm gonna mail that. Kate, I got a show to run here. Just tell me what's in the box. <laughs> <laughs> There's four, five other people. Yeah. Like... There's a coffee. <laughs> okay. Bagel coffee. And there's a coffee mug. Yeah. And there's a toilet paper. Toilet paper? Yep. Toilet, toilet paper? paper? Really cool. <laughs> okay. It's really cool. Yeah. I'm. I'm not gonna go smell it. I will, I will deal with this after the show. That is. So Bethesda paper. mailed you toilet paper as well? Well, for the. If you decide to eat the banana. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did Rob already make the joke about how if you eat the banana, you need the toilet paper? Yeah, you eat right. banana, God damn yeah, it. Yeah. Just it yeah. <laughs> Too late on that one, buddy. Yeah. Um, was there a the code for prey in there, Kate? Say no. <laughs> that would be fucking Please amazing. Say no. Or was it? I'd be so happy. No I'm coach. sure there's not. There's I'm no sure code. there's not. <laughs> there's no fucking code for the game. We also, like, this P.O. box, you, you, TB used to have a P.O. box, and he closed it down, and he said it was, like, conflict of interest because developers were sending him, like, swag, which makes him unable to freely, objectively cover the game because sure. he's careful about stuff like that. Uh, we might close ours down for a different reason. Companies keep sending us game swag, and we have to pay the customs declaration for it. Like, and Adult Swim sent us uh, a poster and a plushie for Rain World, and it cost mm -hmm. us like forty dollars or something. Damn, <laughs> that's Jesus pretty Christ. crazy. Actually. You're, that's I mean, cat's cute, but it's not that cute. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, I mean, I do appreciate it. It's nice. It's flattering that you sent me something in the mail, but I have to pay to get the swag, and I never would have bought that stuff for myself. It's a weird fucking problem to have. Paradox sent me, uh, like a couple of years ago, they sent me shirts, and then when the dude delivered them, he's like, hey, just so you know, there's like a customs declaration, you gotta pay 40 bucks to get these shirts. And I went, okay, so I paid 40 bucks for two shirts, and then I opened it up, it weren't even the right freaking size. Oh. <laughs> and they were a size too big, so it was like I got shirts that aren't functional, and I was insulted. For $40. Why aren't they paying? Why aren't they paying for these things? I, it's like the Canadian government is like, you know, you're killing the Canadian t-shirt industry. <laughs> <laughs> Sending free shirts to YouTubers? Yeah. Oh, these, oh, they don't know I'm a YouTuber. Nah, Nobody tell them. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Canadian they, like, you, government, like, look get at out the of thing here. before you pay the customs? That's what they do. They Well, oh, I don't know if you can look at it. Because I think Cause in the majority of the world, you know what's coming in the mail. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, can you check the shirt to see if it fits you before you decide you don't want it? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think you can open the mail and then be like, I don't I don't want this. Have them send you the x-ray image. <laughs> Maybe you could use that. Look, it's, it's, it's not a million dollars. Maybe it's a complex money laundering scheme. It'd add up really fast if you got like five of those. Glad to join the analyst has talk about custom regulations from US yeah. to Canada. <laughs> we already did talk about flying planes for a while. Ah, true. We do a lot of customs and planes. Dude, stuff. I want to fly a fucking plane. Do it. Did you? Who's I want to learn how. Now? You do seem like a pilot, <laughs> actually. That's actually, you know what? what? Wait a, a minute. What pilot qualities do I have? You've got this sense of adventure and like an open-minded idea to that the world is a big cool place and you want to explore it. That's not what and I want my pilot to have. Why? <laughs> I want my pilot to be detail-oriented and committed to the job. All right. Well, I don't, I don't care about my pilot's sense. Of, I don't care about my pilot's sense of adventure. 
You could be. No, it's private, everybody in chat just said it's the voice. I just had <laughs> yeah, a yeah, voice. that's true. That's yeah. definitely yeah. true. That's, that's definitely true. Yeah. Bear, could you go like give us a, a pilot speech? Uh, around this is your captain speaking. We're uh, about uh, twenty thousand feet up in the sky here, and uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, bringing the drinks your, card out your in the halls hall are perfect. Soon. Also, yeah, kind of yeah, blew yeah. it a little though. <laughs> blew it. What's the deal? I here? want my pilot to be more authoritative than that. I don't like some us are acceptable. He is flying the plane, but I don't want him to take two minutes to tell me that we're at cruising altitude. <laughs> no, the Oz are the time he's concentrating That's... on flying and can't yeah. He's flipping yeah. four or five different switches in the midst of a single Yeah, thing. he's uh, doing an aileron roll and everything. I don't want aileron, an aileron roll. Hmm? What? Aileron roll. It's a Scientology thing you wouldn't understand. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he's like, how, the pilot. how old can a pilot be before you start to be worried about it? Like 60, 70? 65, in my opinion. Yeah. Same, same for doctors, I think. Right around the same place. I, it depends on the type of doctor. I, if he's a general practitioner, I don't care if he's 90. Yeah. Really? Hook me if up. If he's a surgeon, like, yeah. you know. <laughs> I want to be like. Past 30, like, yeah. Like, First uh, day out of medical no. school. <laughs> yeah. I want him to be past just 30? old enough to have seen the exact same case that I have. Once. Dude, it, the people in between 30 and 50 are in their prime, I think. Yeah, yeah spoken by the that. one of us who's over the age of 30, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Got oh, I'm biased. So you're slightly me. older, you fucking nerd. <laughs> Grandpa. You act like you're never going to be there. I'm never going to get that old. Go fly a plane. <laughs> we had I a situation, like, like, sometimes we have to fly this regional airline to get to, like, my parents' house. Or at least the airport near it. And uh, there's like a dude. It's a small plane, like 15, 20 seats. And this dude's like taking our bags. And he's like, hey, nice to see you. Hope you have a good time on the airplane. And I was like, oh, that's nice. They gave this high school student like a summer internship. And then we get on the plane. <laughs> and he like pulls off his hoodie and puts on like a suit with the wings on it. And I was like, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you've done it. Oh, no, baby. What is you doing? And he was, he was the co-pilot. He was like flying the plane. Fuck yeah. I mean... You know, that's that's all right as a co-pilot, right? He's not—he doesn't have the the most. Yeah, but the job. pilot was a woman. Oh, Whoa! oh. I know. Did they have enough it. toilet paper? <laughs> am I right? <laughs> Did she have her period while the plane was flying? <laughs> it was a wholesome story until that moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from what I've heard, nice planes literally, like, fly themselves these days. Well, the are you saying she couldn't fly it because she's a woman if she had to? That's a great <laughs> No, I'm saying awesome. that you shouldn't be wow, worried about pilots because they don't have to do anything. Wow. That's why, I'm, like, Mathis, he's putting on airs with his flight anxiety. Like, I get that he has no control over it, but at the same time, like, just get over it. <laughs> <laughs> you literally sit in a chair inside of a big computer that flies through... Like, 99.9% .9 of the time you're in an airplane, you can't hit anything. There's nothing to hit. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are, like, there, there, are, there are planes that have gone down because a bunch of geese flew into the engines. Yeah. Which is yeah. kind of terrifying. Miracle like, on the Hudson, man. Yeah. Well, is that what happened? A bunch of geese flying into the it's engines? A bird strike. Yeah. I didn't know that, actually. Uh -huh. The lucky thing that... Uh... Uh, Tom Hanks was there to save the day. That's right. You know what would have yeah. been a miracle is if he just didn't hit the geese. <laughs> That's <laughs> He's true. right, actually. I don't know why you get a medal for fixing something you messed up. We should give a medal to all the dudes who never crashed into the the birds and then had to land in the Hudson, right? How about everybody gets a medal except for people in jail? Every yeah. time a pilot has a successful flight, they should get a medal. I agree. Not think crashing of their the plane. chest would be filled with medals they jangle on. They'd be the wearing plane. armor. Yeah, that would be yeah. sick yes. though. And no one could stab yeah. them in the heart. Yeah. You'd yeah. man, you would see a pilot with like eight thousand medals. You'd feel safe as shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. If the dude just like has a wedding dress made of pilot safety medals, <laughs> you're gonna be good to go. You know, 
there's a fairly common procedure that in like high winds planes will land like sideways yes i've seen videos yep. of it i've never I've, I've never experienced that but i would be freaking the fuck out if that was happening like i had one that wasn't sideways, sideways but it was definitely like diagonalish you know uh, like, it, it got, was not fun you, you know, mean they just scrape the up? shaft on the runway do we have a lobby coming up i have already sent you invites you didn't get yeah it. i can't I join i have no invitation I also have no invitation. You guys see the video? There's like a 15 minute video that teaches you how to land a plane on YouTube. <laughs> it well, because no. it's one of those like you know situations where the captains have passed out, right? So you're like the. All right, I'll make the room again. Hey YouTube, you're not gonna believe this one. No, it's like a pilot who made the video. Mm. It's it's really informative, <laughs> but like, I watched it and you know I I was like you know I could do that, but like the the issue is that like at every stage of landing like you have to click a different button or move a different throttle like the hard part is like you have to like pull the the wheel back and like aim the plane perfectly while it lands it's like the hard part everything else is just a different button or switch you step have step one locate the device i remember that much <laughs> but like it seems so stressful like for a non-pilot because yeah. like it's like the 20 different things you have oh. to do at different points. There's something wrong with my game. I have to restart it. Mm. That's why it wasn't sending you invites. Gotcha. 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 Would would you guys be Martian like colonists a, if like they a, had the like game? Like, yes. Absolutely not. No. It's like the what they call the free to pay mobile games, isn't it? The gotcha games. Yeah, I'm not thinking of something else. Why? What are talking about? First off, none of us are qualified to be Martian colonists. None yeah, of us are qualified we to be Earth colonists. <laughs> but let's put that in perspective. The planet on which right. we have spent our whole lives on. If yeah. all of the technology was stripped away, we would be like among the first culled from the population. No, I've, watched that, uh, I've watched that ancient technology channel a few times. I He'd be the dude it. bashing your head in with a sharp rock, <laughs> <laughs> making a ghillie suit out of your skin. <laughs> I know how to make a water powered hammer. I'm ready. The other thing is, it doesn't get better than like our existing situation play video games for a living. You know how long it's going to take Mars to get that cottage industry going? Like yeah. 3,000 years. <laughs> First person to do it is going to make a mint, though. De a Definitely Mentos? True. A mint, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But yeah. also, a Mentos is going to cost you a mint when you're on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> a Mentos is a mint. Is a yeah, Mentos a mint? No. Kind of? It's a I mean, like the mint-flavored one, maybe, but... Yeah. Like, hmm. What about a York's peppermint patty? Is that a mint? That's it's chocolate. Mint. Chocolate. No, that's yeah. a mint candy. It's but it chocolate. has a mint filling. Is mint yeah. is mint flavored is ice mint. cream a mint? Well, okay, okay. If a York peppermint patty isn't a mint, then is a junior mint not a mint? That's what I'm getting at. A junior mint Wait, is we not a mint. already decide if mint is candy? Find the trail of causation from mint to junior mint. A mint is not a candy. Or sorry, a, a junior mint is a candy. It's, it's a, a chocolate. Is a mint a candy? But is it not a mint? It's not a, a mint. mint. If I said, "Hey, do you want a mint?" and then I gave them a junior mint, I would That's expect them. I would expect them to be like, "This isn't a mint. It's a junior." So mint. then, basically, what we're saying is, an ice cream sandwich isn't a sandwich. <laughs> it's a fallacy of composition. There's so many <laughs> implications here. Mm -hmm. Is mint candy? If someone said, do you yeah, want a mint? And I said, yes. And they gave me a waffle cone full of mint chocolate chip ice cream. I would punch them in the fucking face. You wouldn't be thrilled <laughs> I, would, I would say, this is ridiculous. What's your agenda here? Because this is like not a normal Don't transaction. Waste my fucking time. Humans have. <laughs> is a mint a candy? No. No, mint. Mint. No. Most mints mint are not a no. Mint is a leaf, isn't it? You well, yeah, eat it's it a like leaf. a candy, yeah. though. You eat it to, like, freshen your breath or, Where you know. somebody's, like, your breath smells have a mint. No one's oh. sitting there dropping peppermints like it's candy. Like, that's <laughs> yeah, well, okay, what about a candy cane, which is peppermint That is flavor. That is a candy. Is not that's a mint. That's a candy. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it is just It is peppermint. minty. But it's an excessive amount oh, of it. Oh, if though. I have a lamb shank with mint sauce, is that a mint? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I think the implication is that they are sweet 
in in general, not mm. things that are savory. Also, I, this is a gold mine of discussion. I had no idea that I was about to stumble into. <laughs> I'm with Austin that a mint is functional. Mm. A mint is not its primary focus is not to be enjoyed, but rather to provide, you know, a, a secondary <laughs> benefit. Breath. Exactly. Right. Okay. Now, if I did use a candy cane to freshen my breath, would would it then become a mint? No, because you're that's just stupid. Well, but why? Why would it would freshen my breath? Whether you like it or not, it would. Yeah, it's gonna do it. But that's not its primary focus. Yeah, that's just you using so it. So it well, it's like saying if you at the purpose. end of it and turn it into a fucking shank, it's still gonna be a candy. <laughs> cane. If you take a shit in a coffee mug, that doesn't make it a toilet. Right. Mm, okay, yeah. But that's, doesn't that's it? Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kinda. <laughs> a little bit. What are Tic Tacs? Are they candy or are they practical? I would say those are candy. Those I are. Would say those, I eat those like candy. I haven't. Again, I don't eat the minty It depends on the flavor. Yeah, I eat the ones. So it's just eat... candy. Well, orange is the only strategy yeah. with, with... If you no, are brushing your teeth and you swallow your toothpaste, is that a mint? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you put it... Uh, if you put toothpaste the in between chocolate, is it a, a candy? You can go back to the Tic Tacs, though. No, don't okay. create hypotheticals. Only use one material per situation. <laughs> White Tic Tacs, mint or candy? That's a mint. That's a mint. Uh, Are the white it, ones it, the mint flavor? That's yeah. the mint flavor, yeah. Yeah, which one is it's just uh, straight but, okay. If if that is a mint and not a candy, then why can't the candy cane besides the obvious you don't, naming convention? You're not using that to refresh All your right. breath. Picture this. You got two right. peppermint patties. Yeah. You slather one with a thick layer of toothpaste and then mash them together. Is that a sandwich, a candy, or a mint? That's an abomination, I believe. Yeah, is the that's so probably true, yeah. Uh, I hate that he won't take my question seriously. I just want to know. There and are, these mints are delicious. There are flavors, like, okay, so an Altoid. An mm -hmm. Altoid is a that's mint. hundred percent. So, Altoids are mint. That's a mint. So we I have our base. So, yeah. I suck right? them for enjoyment. I do too. But enjoy I... mint. You can yeah! enjoy. Yeah! You can enjoy a mint. But if but you it, do, it's but you not shouldn't functional? be popping them. You don't eat like four. That's stupid. Oh, that, mints want. should be consumed as needed instead of as desired. Also, Altoids okay. are a whole nother edge case because they're cinnamon ones, and I don't know how we're gonna. Those get ones it. are those not are cinnamon. Are all mint-based uh, products that are designed specifically to freshen your breath considered mints? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What about, what about gum? So then, gum. Yeah, that's my point. Gum. Gum is not <laughs> a mint. A mint has to be. No. <laughs> It gum must be candy. consumed. You don't consume gum. You have to, yeah, yeah. You gotta be it. able to consume the mint. You gotta be able to like, from start to finish. You gotta. What's the word I'm looking for 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 chewing something? You gotta masticate, masticate it. Yes. You gotta masticate, masticate it. it. You gotta ingest it. Okay. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Let's see here. Gum gotta is, come up with one. Gum can be a mint. Chat. Don't swallow gum. Gum can be a candy. Oh, who's the adult now, Bear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's like detrimental to your health, though. I mean, so eating, the other shit eating I six popsicles a day. <laughs> yeah. Orange gum spicer swallows like six pieces of gum every day. Oh, that explains really? his attitude. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to get all that gum out of his belly, dude. He's yeah, upset. he's got a belly full of gum. That's what his problem <laughs> yeah. is. So he's oh, help yeah. him out. What about breath, breath spray? Here. You're right, Gibbaz. What about breath spray? What about, just that. That. what about Listerine strips? Well, they you, stick you to the back. Of your no, you don't really consume the breath spray, though. You do consume. It kind of just coats your mouth, right? Like you don't really like wow, swallow a significant intake. amount of it. You get a contact guy from it. Consumption. It is consumed, however. No, but like not really. Like there's If my cum tastes like mint and it freshens my breath, is it a mint? Thinking face. <laughs> it might be. 
if you have that kind of cum, like you've done. You got minty great. cum. You got a good thing going. You gotta you share gotta the go secret. Tell somebody. You think you can do that? You think you can get minty cum? I've been like, thinking about this for ages. That I, flavors are there's so many options. You guys talking yeah. about Shamrock Spunk? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Shamrock for this Spunk. Plan. First, I get the LED glowing balls, and then I get the uh, the cum injection of uh, flavoring. I'm like a soda fountain. Thank gross, man. It's extreme Thank gross. You. Did you guys see that mouth bent over the McDonald's Corporation of Canada today? I did see that, yeah. What, what was, was the problem again? Because this tweet didn't make sense to me. He got a combo, Just and then conversation with that one. Okay. when he uh, <laughs> <laughs> when he looked at the drink, the drink turned out to have no liquid in it. It was just a cup full of ice. So he tweeted oh. McDonald's and said, hey, McDonald's, thanks for the medium ice. And then <laughs> they tweeted him back today and said, I, lo I love how serious you have to be if you work in, like, you're the corporate Twitter account. But could you please uh, follow back so we can get some details about the situation? Yeah. <laughs> like, situation. Dude didn't put some drink in his ice, that's all. <laughs> Every everybody's afraid of uh, being the next United, so, like, you know. You gotta oh, be yeah. careful, man. You gotta be careful. Good thing they didn't, you know, take the Coca-Cola and force feed it down his throat because he didn't get the ice, you know, with his what drink. If, what if what if this hole is impossible? No, it's he doable. Isn't. We've done it. I'm really happy that that was the case because when I saw Mouth's tweet, I thought way worse of him because I thought he asked for medium ice in his drink <laughs> and he was complaining that it was slightly off on the amount oh. of ice and that was like wow I thought medium ice meant a certain size a certain volume of liquid frozen well actually did you guys see uh, in other fast food news did you got see it. that the, the guy the Wendy's guy got the Wendy's yes got, well he got a year's worth of nuts yeah, well, that's what he asked for. Oh, I thought he asked for infinite. He said he did he get the uh, 18 mil? Yeah, well, no, he didn't because that's like more people than are on Twitter, basically. But like, he got the most retweeted tweet ever. He beat Ellen. Wow. Oh, he beat that Oscars Lord. tweet. Yeah. So. Man, I would ask for like a year of chicken sandwiches or something. Yeah. He, you think he's really like regretting it now? Like that he didn't ask for like a lifetime of nugs? Because like that's a gonna year be is like, not that much. He's going to have to talk about this for the rest of his life. <laughs> that's so true. He's going to be apparently. the nugs guy. Yeah. I've never really had Wendy's. Oh, shit, you fucker. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Did you say um, you never had Wendy's? I never had Wendy's okay, nugs. If, I don't uh, think. If oh, Ryan gets hungry right. sub within ten minutes, Ryan will eat the moldy banana. I'm not gonna eat that banana. <laughs> <laughs> Kate is she's actually playing with fire. Like you know how Dan gave us that food poisoning curse. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. On, on Monday, she was talking about like the, this flatbread that we bought. Yeah, I'm perfectly and, fine. And then I was like, wait a minute, I bought that flatbread like six days ago. When's the expiry date? And she's like, don't worry about it. You do. This is how it starts. Is you? Oh, I'll eat that dairy product that's past due. All of a it's sudden, dairy there's cheese in it. It's not a dairy product. It has cheese and meat and other stuff. That's on that's it. all the things that can poison you when they go Wait, bad. How many days ago was it that you bought bread with cheese and meat in it? Yes, that's a Wait. sandwich. Wait, you got a you have a prepackaged sandwich. I, that's a flatbread, not a sandwich. Oh. It's just. Oh. No, you, you guys are you're, you're actually you're really running away with fake news. It's just you're a done. yuppie. It's a yuppie pizza. We got him. We got him. A flatbread. We is, got him, boys. A flatbread is just a pizza that has like a yam on it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it's not a sandwich flatbread. It's a pre-made pizza. It's a yuppie frozen pizza. What does yuppie mean? Yuppie is like people pretending to be richer than they are. That's They're above not their station. True. It's not yuppie pizza. We did buy it from a place called Save on Foods, so I guess that's not that yuppie. You're making it even worse. Well, I don't know why we're even involved in this conversation right now. You can't fight fake yourself. news with fake news, Ryan. In 10 minutes, Ryan I'm not Stop eating the moldy banana. Your husband. <laughs> Stop I'm not... selling him out. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Thank you. I'm not eating the moldy subs banana. Count triple. We need 99 sub right now. That being no, said, you don't. He's leave him alone. I'm not. I mean, you can sub, but I just want you to know all the information. I'm not going to eat that banana. I would love for you to subscribe, but I'm not going to subscribe and then eat poison. <laughs> oh, that's really, really dangerous. I could, actually... I could just eat 
a banana. That doesn't bother me. We got yeah. We got Bartlett pears in the fridge. I'll eat a Bartlett pear at a hundred subscriptions. Eat a Bartlett pear. Do you think that is that you will get food poisoning if you eat that banana? Probably not. Of course. It's not that bad. It's just. It, it smells bad. It smells really bad. If we get All right, Chad, if I get a thousand subs, I'll eat the rat poison in the, base, in the basement. I'll attach it to his nose. Kate, we're killing it. I don't need to resort to these ridiculous challenges. People already <laughs> subscribe because of our amusing <laughs> anecdotes. <laughs> well, the whole theme of this show is we're already living the dream. What are we going to do to squander it? <laughs> would you kill yourself for a thousand subscribers? No. No, I would not. I mean, I would. You guys one want trigger to pull in Russian roulette myself. for a thousand subs. <laughs> Just one. That's all you get. Kate, get out of here. You're, you're ruining the feng shui with trying to kill your husband. <laughs> you know, we haven't upped my life insurance since I, like, graduated university. There's nothing in it for you. You may want to check. Maybe Kate did. Empire Ooh. Life still thinks I'm a worthless individual. <laughs> what if you still are, Ryan? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey, get out of here. Wow. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. I had to just lay that dagger in there before she got out. Poison him? What you... This lady's got a problem. I'm nothing. I'm the greatest husband of all time. And then she's like, what if I just murder you? She didn't even <laughs> leave. She's just two <laughs> seconds away here. Maybe she's slowly putting arson. You know, she came in. We were recording deals. Battlegrounds last night. She came yeah. into my room and just said, how many episodes has that been? You're surrounded by garbage. There were two <laughs> garbage bags that had been tied up, just ready to be taken down. It wasn't like I was living in squalor. But when pe when that video goes up on YouTube in 22 days, people are going to be like, they're going to have this image of me living in a dump. That's funny. Like, That's surrounded funny. by just loose trash on all sides. There's two garbage bags That's too, too many. that you tied up and put in the front of the house. <laughs> 22 day backlog of no we we recorded 16 in the past three days Fucking that's hell. a lot but we we had to do two sessions because we couldn't yeah, it's a gameplay well we couldn't do sunday or something i can't remember why and then we also couldn't do friday or saturday because i'm gonna be in seattle hanging out with your bitch ass oh yeah <laughs> is that so, true about your ass it's not a bitch ass oh okay it depends who's taking it well, I don't know. I heard Angus has a nice ass, and he's a bear. Depends who's taking it. But I watched you guys all go into that same hole and respawn. Yeah, it wasn't a good place to go. Don't go there. Oh, I'm good there. I followed that one. Yeah, that was a good one. You should go in that one. Thanks. Which bear. one was it? This one. That was oh, a yeah. good one. Yeah, this is a good one. I'll eat the banana for a thousand subs. Send me the banana. Mail it. Kate, get Priority it. Priority mail. Already been once. <laughs> We still need 40 more subs. You got 60? I don't think we got 60. I'm, I'm not eating the banana either way. This is not if false guys, advertising. If I get 100 subs, I'll continue to produce the same amount of content that I produce See? on a daily basis. Austin's got the right idea. I won't. I will well, I already owe them something content. for yeah. the 1,000 subs, so I don't want to get too far deep just yet. At 1,000, I'll stop making everything. I'll just stop. I'll go <laughs> offline for a minute. Is that a promise? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm going to cash out. All right. Uh, cutting off one toe per sub today, boys and girls. <laughs> you know, we're really not that far from that on the internet, I would imagine. I hope not. Oh, I think. Oh, I waited for it to move for so better. long, and it didn't move. And then it moved out when I shot. Rude. Oh. God damn it. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, I did not hit it hard enough. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Rats. Oh, this one takes so much focus. Oh, he's done it. Maybe. He's done it. No! One, God two, three, 20 damn. subs. You know how expensive those teeth are to get back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if you just got it done at the dental teaching hospital instead? <gasps> I've done it. I yeah, I also it. did it right at the same moment. I cool. know, I saw that. That was amazing. But yeah, send me the banana. I'll do it. Send me the banana. God damn it. All right, but you got to give me $40. <laughs> 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 oh, my. I wonder if they charge extra if it's a rotting banana. I mean, in a way, I think I might have contributed to international smuggling. 
Because, <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed yeah. to send fruits and vegetables but through the You mail. didn't send it, though. I mean, I, yeah, I know. I'm with yeah, you. but you accepted it. You yeah, but know I didn't know it was in there. I didn't know what it was. Uh, that's he's like, not, a, he's uh... like that blueberry mule that was on the bus that got arrested yeah. when we went through Vancouver. <laughs> that guy sure. is still rotten in jail for those blueberries. No, you're like that guy that they tell you about who lets someone else pack his bags for him at the airport. Yeah, they say you should never do that. I mean, you should never do that. But then but sometimes, like, they, insecurity, insecurity, they go, hey, did you pack your bags? And I go, no, my wife did. So basically, it's like if you find anything in there, go talk to that lady. Because <laughs> I think that's a like she's trying to feed you a rotten banana, you know. Yeah. They just want to be able to tie a person to that bag. My cat, I realized that they like uh, suitcases too much. Because mm. I had, a, I have two suitcases, and one of them is laying open, like on top of like a dresser, because I'm lazy and I just didn't move it. And I'm a lot yeah. of space. Uh, and he, uh, he would just sleep in there because there's a towel in there, and he would just always sleep in there. And I was like, okay, you know, it's an open container. Cats like that. It's not the suitcase. Yep. He actually sleeps. Container. I have another suitcase in the closet that's open on the top and on its wheels, so it's vertical. Yep. He climbs into the suitcase, the vertical one, and sleeps inside of it while yep. it's standing up. You want to know a pro tip? Just <laughs> get some tape and tape a square on the floor. Your cat will go inside the square. You want to know a pro tip? Yeah. Close your suitcase and put it away. <laughs> but he likes it. It's in the closet. It is away. The door's broken. I can't close it. <laughs> you want to know a pro tip? <laughs> yeah. Always wash your apples before you eat them. Mm, I gotta yeah, be honest no, with you. I don't do that. You don't do that? It's not really? I don't. I don't. Really? You don't. You don't wash things. I, I don't. I don't, get, I, don't I don't wash my. Mouth. I don't wash my fruits, and uh, mm. I didn't wash vegetables until Kate saw me one time and is like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I don't wash yeah. vegetables." <laughs> that's, no, that's not like that's not like a personal like, preference thing. That's gross. Yeah, that's, you're not supposed to do that. Come on now. That's pretty gross. It's never come back to bite me. In the ass that I know. I mean, but like yeah. with apples, you're eating the sticker adhesive. Then I take the sticker off. off. <laughs> yeah, but there's a little bit of adhesive left on the apple if you don't wash it's it. It's so off. low effort to just run under some water really quick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got the guys who won't wash plates are gonna tell yeah, me that's about how low you effort. know it's low effort. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You're making an argument for there's us. There's no pesticides. I'm buying only <laughs> kale grown in real cow shit. Okay. Why am I paying six dollars per kale bunch? Someone should pre-rinse <laughs> it for me. That's why they have them in the little sprayers out there, so they keep them all rinsed out. But you still gotta clean them when you're at home. I don't yeah. think so. I think that's fake news. You gotta stop calling stuff fake news. Yeah, that's, that's a bad <laughs> yeah, habit. Yeah, it's sad. Oh, I get it. Sad. Yeah, sad. Yeah. It's just sad. Sad. Yeah. Sad it's so sad, 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 sad. These sad, sad. Right, won't really even stinky, wash but... their hands after they take a shit. They're gonna tell me you should wash your apples all the <laughs> what time. The what are you talking about? I wash my hands every that's, time. That's shit. fake fucking news. That's fake that's news. news. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about chat. That's no. <laughs> that's also fake now. news, though. Well, to a degree. I mean, <laughs> oh, sure. You have your audience. Some of them are probably, you know, probably like a serial killer out there. One of them, you know, like I hope not. Dude, that'd be crazy. You think a serial killer watches? I mean, mathematically, maybe one. No! no. One in 5,000? That's uh, crazy. One in 6,048, actually. <laughs> Try to give him a little more credit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick a really obscure job, and let's see if we can see one in chat. Oh, yeah, I bet we'll see 100 in chat. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> President of the United I States. I forgot hundred percent of chat is untrustworthy. So. <laughs> well how many how many of you in chat are dentists by a show of vote yay? Yeah. We sh I would not be surprised if we have one dentist who's in their twenties and then like three people in dental school. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if we got about four hundred vote yays. <laughs> There's gonna be quite a few dentists, I think. I mean There's I have a friend who's amount. a dentist. And he, That's a lot of dentists. He How watches dentists Hearthstone that? streams like all the time. He's always talking to me about yeah. Hearthstone streams. And then I'm he's like, hey, to me about your streams. Well, I go, hey, buddy, tell me. Uh... Well, he did message me once, and he's like, holy shit, your wife is one of the top three Hearthstone streamers right now. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. <I don't> know. <laughs> but uh, 
<laughs> Sometimes I go, hey, tell me about somebody's messed up teeth. And he goes, I can't do that, doctor patient confidentiality. I go, whatever, you prude. Can you just not <laughs> say their name? <laughs> like, wouldn't you not be able to trace it back to anyone ever anyway? I'd still be mad if I found out someday, though, I think. Mm. My All girlfriend right. roasted the shit out of you for a while, Ryan, uh, saying that, like, why why does Kate pack your underwear for you? And then, like, does she shave you, too? What? Like, I didn't think that was a big deal. Like, no, like, here's the deal. Having your significant other pack for you? I have packed yeah, I my own suitcase on many occasions. Kate wants to pack my suitcase, because if I have to pack the suitcase, it takes three minutes, and I just grab... If I, where, However long I'm going somewhere... I take that number, add one to it, and put that number of clothing items into the suitcase, just willy-nilly, and then close it up. That's it. Yeah. That's what I do, yeah. That's, that's, a, yeah, that's exactly what you're supposed she to packs yeah. it. She packs it super nicely and super, like, tightly wrapped and stuff like that so that it's all organized. And then the trade-off is that if she buys things, she can put them in that suitcase. So it's a good, uh, we have okay, a good, yeah. like, symbiotic relationship. She takes a lot longer to pack. But she also has that empty space for herself if she acquires something on the voyage. Mm. Reasonable. That seems like a fair compromise, I'd have to say. And you always I take one. Know. But so, I do have to negotiate oh, like sometimes. Where, okay. uh, you know, I'll like go through the suitcase. We're going for six days, and there's only six pairs of socks. And I'm like, nah, seven pairs of <laughs> socks. And she's like, what, you wear two socks some days? I'm like, no. If my feet get wet, I'd rather carry one extra pair of clean socks than wear the same wet socks for like a day and a half or something. Yeah, but what if your socks get wet twice? Well, then, I mean, at some point, you just got to get new shoes, I guess. You always bring one extra, probably of every clothing item, but definitely socks and underwear are the big ones. Socks yeah. are so small comparatively. I don't see a problem having two of those. Yeah, you're not concerned. That's like trying to save time putting PJ, PJ Sammy's in the freezer. You gotta have pack oh, extra socks. Oh, but what That's... if I have the heaviest socks on planet Earth? Uh, <laughs> could contribute to having a curved spine in my late 50s. I have Atlantean <laughs> socks, special made. I need them for balance. <laughs> this guy wears a new pair of socks every day. You gotta. People are talking Ooh, about you, and you don't know this. Come yet. on now, yeah. <laughs> you, you, gotta, you need to wear new socks every day. Do do not be reusing socks. You actually should a... reuse underwear before socks. You should hear the reason that someone I know re wears one pair of socks a day. He didn't say because, like, you know, oh, you know, get them dirty, don't want to reuse them. Okay. He 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 comes in them every day. That's not okay. And that's why that was his reasoning. He's like, I gotta have one if I masturbate. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Like traveling? No, just around, you know. And I was like, that's gross. He's what? like, no, you just wash them. You All could right. just not do that. <laughs> why Why that, though? Like, Yeah, why that, though? You know, but know. You, you guys realize this is just one step away from the paper plate reasoning. This is not no, no, cuz you're already gonna the wash the socks. Easy. So why not just add to the mess instead of having to buy Kleenex and then you got to get a garbage can and some bags. I'll be honest, if I came in a sock, I wouldn't put my foot back in that sock. Well, no, I don't think he's I wash He's it. not putting not that, not that Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. No, yeah, he's gonna wash them. I mean, I would hope so. <gasps> he's done it. But I don't like know, even if, even if you wash them, like, I on. still wouldn't want to put my foot back in that sock. Just in I'll, case. I, I'll be totally honest, I still do not understand the coming in a sock thing. I like, don't I either. Don't get it. I don't get it. And he, no, and he got mad at me because I, I, I said, oh, you know, use a paper towel or something. He's like, that's wasteful. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he had me there completely. I mean, technically, he is correct. It's wasteful. Yeah. <laughs> I was just, I, I that's got That's why you should just eat it. <laughs> That's what we got to that point. You use calories to make the cum, so you should try to recapture as much of that as possible. You could save upwards of a fraction of a cent every year on your grocery bill. <laughs> That's why the first piss every day, I just run it through the Brita filter a few times. It saves you the two cents on flushing. <laughs> Dude, I actually, we got an email from like our, our hydro company. I don't know if they use that phrase in the, in America. You know what no. I mean? Our power company that also controls our water? We don't pay for water in America. Nah, yeah, it's free. No, we do. 
I they, don't. Well, I don't either, but I, 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 I do. Yeah, I, I, I pay for it. Anyway, oh, they sent God. us an email, <laughs> and they were like, you know, if you cut one minute off of your showers, you could save a dollar a month. <laughs> you gotta get new marketing people. <laughs> that is a terrible... You're Basically, that's a dollar Wait. for a 30-minute equivalent of a shower. I would pay a dollar to shower in my own shower for 30 minutes. That's a smoking deal as far as I'm concerned. That's one of my favorite things to do. Well, it technically... Was, they probably $5. spent more money sending you that notice than you could have saved <laughs> showering for one less minute. That's probably true. He's done it on his fourth attempt. Yeah. You guys got good water pressure showers? Oh yeah. No. Yeah. See, I uh, I invested in a pretty awesome shower head that I I can't even change with. my you know, shower head. You guys never what? talk Why? about the fact that it could be your entire setup that's fucked when it comes to water pressure. No, it's, it's, it's pressure true. tank freaking redone. That's the first that thing you do thing. when you're looking to buy a home. You you know your wife. I was gonna say your woman. I'm actually I admitted it because I'm I'm so ashamed that that was my first choice of words that I feel like I need to own it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your wife's like, is there a good school in this neighborhood? I don't really like the color of these walls. We have to get some granite put in here. The husband's duty is to go into every room with a sink, turn on the turn on the tap, and yeah. then be like, pressure's yeah. good, and how long does it take to get hot? And then, yeah. no matter what, you go, hmm, I don't know about that. You it know? takes <laughs> four minutes for my water to get hot. Oh my god, that's no, even way kiss. too long. That's they could really just run it bad, through the freaking dude. front lawn in Texas and it would get hot. Aren't you? Yeah. Wait, wait, aren't you renting? You're renting, yeah. right? So fucking go to the landlord and be like, hey, Dick, do something about you this. Yeah, that. start it with, hey, Dick. Yeah, you can, hey, hey, Dick. Dick. Well, that's his yeah. name. Hey, Fuck woman. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, woman. Exactly. Get your woman out here to fix the water pressure. <laughs> <laughs> He but seriously, get your done. get your landlord out there, man. Dude, you can't get do your that. life together. Also, isn't that like a kind of a dated phrase? When your you think woman? About it? Yes. No, your woman. Not about <laughs> that, but also <laughs> a landlord. Like that just seems intense, right? Like doesn't that seem like a little bit yeah. higher in the in yeah, the yeah, echelons yeah, of like the kind the of lord that they are? Makes us you're a the lord of the surf. estate. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Me and Austin were talking earlier. What's the deal with lands and titles? Why don't, why don't we just do it like dogs do and just pee on shit that we want to have as our own? Hell yeah. Yeah. You know who's a landlord? Who? Dan Geasley. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I true. Oh, that. hey, let's just talk about our personal <laughs> business. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he was ready to go that. On was that. so loud. Dan <laughs> Geasling was, told was really me loud. you can buy a house in Miss Michigan for the price of a VCR. <laughs> oh, you can't you can't tell the whole internet that dude. That's his big secret. You have no idea how expensive VCRs now. <laughs> That's it's VCR a good VCR. <laughs> <laughs> no one else was scared. Like that was incredibly loud. Was that was really was loud, yeah. I mean the one thing that I'm actually oh. scared about is that it's like he was listening the whole time because there is a twitch delay of like 30 seconds. So like he came in right <laughs> oh, okay. at like moment. seven or eight seconds. Yeah, right. but well, still though, he's I mean, like he came right on. There. Was he just in the call already? Oh yeah, before? he's in the call. He's here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that explains the delay not being a problem. I yeah. already said this in Skype, but do you guys want to hear something extremely quaint about our election that happened yesterday? Nah. Yes, I like good stories about elections. We're not really sure which party is going to form the government because one of the ridings was decided by nine votes. So we have to wait. <laughs> wow. We have to wait 15 days for all of the absentee ballots to be counted and then recounted. Nine it's like some act. Have you guys ever seen the film Welcome to Mooseport? Yeah. Yeah. Gene Hackman wins the mayoral election over Ray Romano by two votes. You know why? Ray Romano voted for Gene Hackman because oh. he thought he would make a better mayor. Is that spoiler? My God! Come, if you That's haven't the whole seen the movie, you should not watch Welcome to Mooseport. It is <laughs> one of the worst movies I've ever seen. If you're a yeah, child, it might, in it. if you're He's a child, great. it might be okay. But That's the one where he gets trapped in the Winter Wonderland, right? In the Mooseport, yeah. Yeah, I like that movie. I thought it was nice. Why is it a Mooseport? 
That's what Canada. the town was called. It's not in Do Canada. Mooses... It's in Minnesota. Oh, Do they oh, trade no. mooses there? It's we have Canada Moose Jaw and trace. Moose Factory. After the the <laughs> moose are produced here, we sail them over Lake Louise to Mooseport. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> you gotta make sure the ship steers around Thunder Bay, though. Right, yeah, I know. Yeah, you don't want to make the whole that. production line. <laughs> they, bring, they bring them back up to Canada. <laughs> 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 you get like wow. one thing a month that Nick just can't yeah. hang. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that though. <laughs> my oh my favorite God. part is the factory because I know it's just like such a weird place to work. I hate this hole. Yeah, I hate this hole too. Why would they call it a moose factory though? It's like a. I'm pretty sure it's an inherited name from the First Nations people that the land was then stolen from. And then as a cruel joke, we took their traditional name and translated it into our heathenistic language, and, and th <laughs> thus it was forever known that. That's pretty fucked up, actually. Dude. Our ancestors, man. Yeah. This sucks. Doesn't it bear? <laughs> do this one. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm protest voting the last hit. God damn it. Moose get good. Moose Saskatchewan is filming the filming location of 2015 cult classic Wolf Cop. <laughs> nice. Excuse me? I think I'm I saw one. Not Cop. one of us has seen that if that exists. I said heathenistic. Not <laughs> hedonistic. Hedonistic. Ah. Well, we're gonna come back and play some London 2012. See you soon. Oh, we'll actually it's London where the moose oil. pelts were processed before they got sent to England. Okay, that makes way more sense. Alright, I gotta go, boys. Alright, later. Uh, okay. Uh, see ya. Bear. Bye bear. Bye bye. Dan, you're so loud. Bye, Dan. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually, heard that too, chat. I'm glad I was wrong. What? Don't worry about it. Mm. Just moose stuff. Moose stuff. Just moosing around. Just moosing and goosing. Have you seen slash read Life of Pi? I have not seen nor read it. Life of Pablo? Yeah, Life of Pablo. Hey, your volume's fixed. The pie one is when there's like a tiger in a boat, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, boat tiger. Really hey, have you guys ever had sexual intercourse? It feels yeah. just like warm life of pie. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a tiger in a boat. <laughs> I mean, it depends on who you're banging, really. You ever banged any woman that's like, oh, it feels just like a tiger in a boat? Yeah. She that's was a cool. tiger. And we were having sex on a waterbed. Let's see, Nick. You're, <laughs> you're not telling the truth. You know what? <laughs> you're right. I thought he was. All right, again. join up, join up, join up, join up. It's squad up, and it's boys. And all right, join on him. I want to join quickly so I get second place on Kieran. Boys, boys, boys. <laughs> now I can challenge nah. Ryan. God damn it. Oh. oh, fuck, you said that in the back. Oh, God. <laughs> so I can't mute you. All right, there we go. Done it. Why did you guys stop playing Disc Jam? It's because Robert got too good at it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, the last time that we played Disc Jam, I was wrecking your face. So eat my balls, basically. <laughs> When I didn't have you on my team, I was doing <laughs> just fine. <laughs> Poor James. You don't talk about that. Strange. What's up, guys? Hey, hey Dan. James, call me. Watch Dan. Hello. How hangs it? Hey, it's it's hanging in the nether regions. Yeah. yeah? Banging. Really? How's that like going? it's hanging? Yeah. Nick, how's the new desk? <laughs> mm. Very, He's having very sex good. with it right now, yeah. No, I was. I had a mouthful of Madrina's coffee. Nice. How nice. much they pay me? Madrina's! A nice, round, soft Madrina's coffee. I'm just trying out different adjectives each time. I figure I'll land on a couple I like. They're not paying me anything. They just sent me some coffee. It tastes good. 
Hey, speaking of Madrinas, how many upvotes can we get for our boy and bear who landed that VO gig for uh, yeah. Dodge's Dungeon? Our boy and bear. Our boy and bear. That's pretty awesome, man. I'm fired up for him. Yeah, it is really cool, actually. Apparently Austin doesn't think so. It's bullshit, I hate it. <laughs> is there a little flame emoji we can use for when something is lit or fire? Yeah, cool. it's uh, uh, colon fire colon. All right, I'm going to try that. Yeah. I saw it. It's a cat taking a bath. It's pretty oh, good. Oh, it totally works. Yeah, there it is. Hey, it's been a while, so if you guys want to oh, give me just thing. a little bit of a refresher. Oh, this is, that's not happening. <laughs> Ryan doesn't like to tell anybody what button to press. Uh, I've explained London's it a million times. London 2012 is an asymmetrical <laughs> multiplayer horror game. <laughs> if Dan gets a gold could... medal, I will give 100 bits to every streamer streaming right now. In this wow. 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 Everyone don't press A. I'd rather win than get the dollar. <laughs> Money's yeah, for you... nerds and accountants. I can't... I can't watch! Oh, Real God. people are rock stars. <laughs> Dan, watch out for the robot. That. It's coming for you. Uh, nice race, Austin. You fucking, you smoked the star. There was no catching up. <laughs> it's redemption for all the Battlegrounds losses. <laughs> Good race, Robert. <laughs> Whoa, Dan got a bronze already! Yeah. Why is everyone so shocked that I'm? I'm a, <laughs> you've already blood, equaled blood. your <laughs> tournament of shame performance. We did six videos. <laughs> How do you remember that? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Hey, forever, Rob. I tried my best. All right, boys. Kenya's oh. off to a good start. <laughs> w what are your respective countries? Jam it. Pole boys in green. Nick is in real life. <laughs> Nick. Oh, Nick. Robert's a Gerber baby. <laughs> yeah, true. And Austin, of course, with a polished Polish performance. <laughs> As they say every time. Like a polished Polish sausage. You guys ever polish a bowl before? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that has okay. no humor value. <laughs> we're all we're all North American. Have anecdotal here. value. <laughs> we're all North American here. Can we yeah. agree? There's only like eight different sausages. Um, I think that's I like being generous. <laughs> Does Andouille count? Yes, I think Andouille okay. counts. Okay, then yeah. I'm I don't even know what the fuck Andouille is. Oh, dude, it's a Louisiana sausage. It's so good. It's Andouille, Anne Huey, and Anne Louie make up one <laughs> section. Europeans are always going like, oh, well, there's mm, Flafflewurst and Waffelwurst and Butterwurst and, like, <laughs> that's too many. That's one sauce. Chorizo? Chorizo? Chorizo counts, sauce? yeah. Okay. No. And then <laughs> mild and spicy Italian. Yeah, and then yeah, those Jim, count too. Jimmy Dean's sausage patties. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Loving them. This dude is, is trying to foul. Foul? I oh, fouled, and then the man. announcer went, He's launching it long! <laughs> <laughs> what about a banger? Does a banger count as its own sauce? Only if it has man. mash alongside. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, can you guys just... What do I hit? The thick? The stick thick? <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, hit the thick, Dan. Hit the Allen stick. Mm -hmm. Hit Allen's stick. Is this a 45 dick. or a 35? It's a 35. <laughs> I should say that. Someone oh yeah, me. Kilbasa. Yeah, Kilbasa's great. With pierogies. Have you guys ever had bangers and mash? No. no what I is want it? Them, it's just sausages and mashed potatoes. Yeah. Pretty I much. have it maybe like once every six weeks or so. It's really? good. But what? Could you... It's not... You'd have to be more American than you are to think that sausages and potatoes are an exotic food. Come on. <laughs> this is getting crazy. But I feel like that's something you eat in Ireland or something. Whoa. We have Irish people, but it's an English food, I think, to begin with. <laughs> but So you and Kate are like, oh, let's have bangers and mash today. Or do you if say, we're at, like, if we're at an English pub or an Irish pub or something, then yeah. Wait, how often do you have pizza? Probably once every two weeks. Okay, how often do you have hot dogs? Maybe once every four months. 
Okay, so you eat hot dogs less than bangers and mash? Yes. That's insane. But they're actually good. <laughs> wow. Wow. Listen to all of America, man. I like hot dogs. I just, I don't... Clearly not! You gotta go out of your way to, to eat hot dogs. You have hot dogs three times a year! What's inside of a hot dog? Pig Ground ass. Ground up pig. Yeah. You ever, you ever get one of those little, like, hard chicklets in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you get the it's shitty, shitty one of those. Yeah. The one that's just kind of like a, a crimson paste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are, are there any foods you guys don't eat? I do not <laughs> like... <laughs> I do not like any variety of liver. A uh, what? Liver. Liver? Yeah. yeah. You seem like a pate guy to me. Give me credit for. <laughs> I mean, I, he's right. I also do not eat ants. I do not eat ants. <laughs> why don't you I like? Why it was so controversial? I mean, it's true. <laughs> I mean, people do eat ants in the world. I don't... There was, uh, I saw a Gordon Ramsay video where he was traveling around the world eating exotic foods, and there was, like, something that he thought was, like, really delicious, and then he found out it was ant chutney. Uh, it was just chutney. ants. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain He's... it, really. No, he hasn't. Right, it's, it's like, like a silver saucy kind of deal. Like a relish? Uh, kind of, but it's, like, usually sweet. Okay, okay. Chutneys are delicious. Dude. What will like you eat, Dan? Um, I, the only thing I won't eat is chicken cordon bleu. Why? What? Why? 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 And why yeah. the only thing? I imagine there's more. Nah, I'll try anything once. I've eaten, like, a uh, deer heart. What, I'd say that's what, are you most... saying you won't try? <laughs> <laughs> are you saying you won't try? No, 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 no wait, wait, wait. Once? But the deer heart. Have you guys <laughs> seen that picture of the... It's like a Twitter... It's an image of a tweet where I want a Dan a, Easling Khaleesi moment. A father <laughs> has taken his like nine year old daughter out hunting and they killed a deer and then the picture is of her taking a bite out of the heart. Was that the situation? Is that how it came to pass? No, I was at uh, Collegiate University, and we sure we shared a bathroom with the other dudes. The other dudes are from Mid Michigan. It's a more of a rural area, and they go say try this meat, and it was like a thin slice of gray. I'm like, okay. That's my favorite shoot. Miles Davis Great. album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was Deerheart. With the, I could see the ventricles though. Oh. Dude, chicken hearts are pretty good. Really? What? Yeah. There's not there's actually nothing weird about it. Honestly, it's I actually neat. the weirdest thing that I actually like is probably um, pig's feet. Pig's feet's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that is actually bad though. You are you're talking about a chicken heart. Chicken hearts are I like good. Artichoke hearts. Yeah, artichoke hearts are amazing. Real good. They're the only yeah. hearts I eat. One time I was, I used to go to this like stand outside of my apartment when I was in Korea, and I always get these like fish cakes, and they were delicious. One time I went there, and there was like an old Korean man there, and he went, uh, well, he was speaking Korean to me, but he gave me his food. He like left and gave me his food, and then I ate it, and I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever had. And I was talking to the lady. I was like, what is it? She said the word for pig and the word for foot. And I was like, that explains it. Can, <laughs> can we go back, though? What's wrong with chicken cordon bleu? Yes, okay. Yeah, I'm very curious valid. about that, actually. Yeah. So chicken cordon bleu, you got to think about it, right? So you've got the innards of a chicken, the outards of a poor man's nugget, and then the sauce on top. But long story short, when I was in like, first grade at my aunt's wedding, she had candied cranberries and chicken cordon bleu. And literally, I ate it, and my face turned green. That it sounds pretty disgusting. You wouldn't eat a poor man's nugget right off his plate. <laughs> not when it's like presented as like a fancy meal, because it's not. Well, maybe that's a bad. Just maybe it was just made bad. Maybe. Yeah, it was a bad. I mean, it, look, it's chicken fried with ham and cheese. How, how could you not like it? Well, Austin, why don't you go get a chicken smarmy and then tell us about that? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Speaking of, there's the uh, we're on I think 83 days until uh, Ryan and who else has to get food poisoning? Dude, it's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. uh, Kate's trying to make it happen. She's trying to poison me, maybe, but <laughs> Dan, can you undo the curse on me? Because I already had food poisoning within the last 90 days. Yeah, the, the curse was towards everyone that hasn't had it yet. 
Okay, thank God. I'm really happy to hear. Yeah, you. I don't think I've had it still, so. I don't yeah. think I'm gonna get food poisoning. Should I eat some sushi today and maybe test my luck? I don't know why yeah. everybody thinks sushi is the one that's gonna get you. Austin it's ate wrong. a chicken sandwich. It was the mayo or the chicken. <laughs> yeah, but like sushi's raw. Yeah, the, yeah, you know how many hoops they have to jump through to serve sushi? Like, you gotta have no, like a, have a sushi idea. safety expert that analyzes it under like an electron microscope. Yeah, but like if Austin eats sushi, then that's not. I, I don't know where the, the fish is coming from because he's in the middle of like a desert. The Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, the Gulf of okay. Mexico. Yeah, but like how many, like how long has the, how long ago, how long has that fish been dead They put for? it in That's a truck with some saying. fucking ice. How long yeah. has the chicken been dead for? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but that's a diff that's, you don't eat raw chicken. Unless you do. Because it's really dangerous and the bacteria that live in raw chicken are much more volatile than the ones that do in fish. Exactly. I agree! I'm just saying. That's You asked the question, why are people thinking about it? It's just because it's I'm, raw. I'm getting so splained about... I'm getting chat-splained about food poisoning. <laughs> I have... Oh, Austin, I'm so sorry, except not. Um... I've never had food poison. I'm not saying it's impossible for me to get it, but as long as I don't change up my situation too much, I think the odds have got to be really low. I seriously, we probably eat sushi like 10 times, well, maybe like 8 times a month, and have for like the past 5 years. If I hadn't gotten it at this point, I think the odds of me getting it specifically within the next 90 day window are low. You should go to the lowest Google-rated sushi restaurant in your area, and then see if you get food poisoning from that Pocky, one. Man, or, or Pocky, man. What is it pronounced as? The Pocky stuff? Poke? Poke. Poke that yeah. stuff, I feel like, is going to get you eventually. Mm -hmm. One might argue that Ryan's on borrowed time because he's gone his entire life without getting it. Yeah. So, every day you're closer to it, Ryan. Some cost fallacy, That's but yeah. not how... You guys are so scared of raw fish, and Thank not at all it. scared about chicken, in the least. I'm scared of chicken, that's why I you should be chicken. scared of chicken. <laughs> What's there to be scared about chicken? If it's salmonella. undercooked, it's got salmonella have potentiality! Have shit hanging off their head? <laughs> that's true as well, yeah. You don't want that. It's like a tumor. <laughs> it's like a tumor. Dan, you might as well take this event off. Why? We're on a new level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a yeah. new level. You guys should take it off as well. Oh no. His arms are so oh, fast. Oh killer. no, it was really close actually. You were bragging about 219? Ship <laughs> record 220! I got 200. <laughs> yeah, me too, Nick. I'm just happy I, like I got to start the low so sticks. I don't get three X's in case I fuck it totally. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is where the mental state of the lifter right, really boys. does come into question. What are you guys going up to? I'm not telling you. <laughs> what do you like to know? It basically just holds up until it stops going and then hope for the best. <laughs> oh, I hate doing this part. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nick saying let's go. Let's oh, go. I fucked that up. That's done. It's oh, over. fuck. That was way too high. Yeah, I fucked that one up. <laughs> fuck that do it, one up. Do that it. was All way right. too high. <laughs> oh. A bit too that rough was on not that even close. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my! Why is this game so good? <laughs> what do I do? Oh, I'm screwed. When are they gonna make London 2013? That's what I want to know. <laughs> In 2018. Yeah, I hope so. I hope there's a Winter Olympic game for 2018. Let me back down, please. Yeah, because it'll have hockey in it. Let me back down. Oh. Oh, that might be. Oh, oh bullshit. Oh, no, fucking, yeah, of course I get the sticks on the important one. That's impossible. Ah, no one can do 224. He's done it. Bull and also. No shit. one can do 224. He's oh. done it. Get I up there. Auto. <laughs> no. Oh, I hate you. Did He's... I get it? Did I get the bronzies? You... Yeah. He's, got a bronze. He's done it. He's done it. Fucking 202. The is so low. 202. Let's Robert, you do that all the time. Don't even start with me. I don't shoot cool. for bronze. Let's have a quick glance at the oh, that was the best I'm London 2012 eight. ever. You're, You're sleeping got, on your boy. You could have <laughs> went 200 and all three of us could have got bronze, Dan. Oh my God. Yeah, and maybe if I'm in sixth place, I could hold on to my triple red shell. So Just I don't Give me see, five carries. This I'm so... is that strictly dominating strategy. He chose A instead of B. It's a Nash equilibrium. Bronzes. 
but now he gets the, wait, just the bronze. Wait, can we do th <laughs> Wait, men skeet? <laughs> yeah, men skeet. <laughs> can we do Thunderdome for the last one? Kieran? Why is, is Rob Thunderdome? grayed out the on the The more Kieran, the better, honestly. I'm, I'm okay with two uh -oh. Kierans. I'm not, really. Austin's got to avenge the last Kieran that we did. Or I never I even saw him. Kieran to be Look, I started in the fourth position of that one. I made it back to two, all right? <laughs> By the time that I the got there, the race was over. Oh, really Kieran's don't make it Kieran. Kieran Knightley, but all right, fine, no problem. Kieran Knightley strikes me as good. Dude, if if they come out with an NHL game on PC, Isaac is dead. <laughs> I'll do that Ultimate Team shit all day. I watch Ultimate Team. Dan keeps linking us to Cash Nasty Gaming, opening fifteen thousand dollars worth of NBA 2K sneaker packs or whatever the heck those are. It's really good. Is it? Because he's just opening the packs. He just got that new Diamond D wave. <laughs> yeah, Diamond D. Rock hard, rock hard! Oh, oh, I so bad on that man. one. What's the secret to this one? Press A. Tap A, yeah. That's it? Yep. But I don't want to burn out my uh, electrons. <laughs> 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 the close one. I mean, Dan keeps telling me he wants to yeah, play keep... me in Madden, yet he never plays me in Madden. Bruh. You just refuse? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're weirdly like, the Super Bowl happened like three months ago. Yeah. And you're playing Madden now. <laughs> it's the draft! The draft came on! I want to do the draft, the, do, do the drafty things. Last Wolf? Nothing? He has not done it. <laughs> Fish is not on the top list of most food poisoning or m foods with most foodborne illnesses. Shellfish, yes. Food or no, er, fish, no. I botched that so hard, but you get you get the gist of it. <laughs> That's not surprising to me, but at the same time, I'm just saying. You know? I've eaten some oysters and mussels, never gotten sick. I I've like... never had a, a shellfish before, a oyster or anything like that before. Here's a question: really? Is shrimp shellfish? Yes. Um, they have a hard shell on them. I mean, they so, do. Yes. But like, no, this one's really easy. It's just yes. <laughs> but they, they have an exoskeleton. They don't really. I don't know, man. No, they are they are shellfish though. That's the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> but the shell is not like. It's not that a hard. Shell. Though. Yeah, I mean, I can yeah. pull it off with my hands. It's not really a shell. I mean, let me put it this way. If I bought something at Best Buy and it had shrimp shell packaging, no risk of me cutting my hands on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. He's done it. Just, just is, though. What's the angle you're shooting for here? 35. Perfect. 35. 35. If you eat armadillo, are you eating shell mammal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good question, actually. People do eat armadillo. Yeah. Armor. They can't stop hurling themselves in front of cars. We have to eat them to get rid of them. <laughs> Wait, do they have them in Texas? That's yeah. Where they mainly are, yeah. I thought they were from Australia. They're there, too. They're all over. Have you ever eaten one, Austin? No. How was it? Yeah, how was it that you didn't eat? Yeah. <laughs> It was bad? I don't know how to answer this. Right. Is it like hamburger? I've never had it! <laughs> well, I know, but had is, it, is it served up in a ground fashion and that's your local grocer? Yeah, dog! I don't like when people <laughs> call it hamburger when it's not <laughs> in a bun. <laughs> what is it called? Ground chicken? Ground beef! Yeah, it is called ground beef. <laughs> Hamburger's its street name. <laughs> Oh yeah, but like, God. if you have a bolognese sauce, is it? Are you having like tomato sauce with hamburger? That's a bolognese it, sauce. That's what it is. Kids are getting twisted up on this new street drug. It's called <laughs> Old El Paso. They mix taco seasoning and hamburger meat. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever have hamburger helper when you were a kid? Yeah, I love that. A stuff. lot of beef stroganoff. Yeah, I see. I liked beef it a lot taco. when I was a kid, and then when I got it. You know, when I was older, I was like, this doesn't come with any ground beef. What kind yeah. of bullshit is this? You have to buy your own beef. Yeah, that's bullshit. It's it's hamburger beef. Hamburger helps right Rob on Hamburger, hamburger. <laughs> it's not hamburger gazetia. That's X. 
They should. Well, so you, you wouldn't want to. I mean, it comes in a box. <laughs> You're not gonna buy boxed hamburger meat. It's like the same little freeze dried mix of shrimp that come in the ramen. <laughs> it's a big hydrated, you know, ground beef. It'll be fine. Hey, what number do you guys have on your chest right now? Seventeen GB. GB? Not the GB. <laughs> He's done it. None of the GBs. Do you have Jay hamburger Dominizzi. helper all the time because you're broke? That's fair. I feel like... Well, I don't... Is it really that Well, that's the thing is that whenever we talk down about, like, food like that, people go, yeah, well, what if you're poor? Well, you could eat, like, beans and rice and be good, like, make delicious meals. But if you... What did you just say? I'm just saying, it is... If you buy, like, a bag of dried rice and a bag of dried beans, you can make some sweet meals just out of those two components. But... If you're broke and lazy, I'm on the same page as you. Okay, broke and lazy. Right, gotcha. If yeah, you got the there. combination of broke and lazy, that's right, where you right, get in right. the hamburger helper territory, and I understand that. You work a long no, day, true. you gotta make a meal for for three. You know, oh, Buy a bag of beef fizzle. I mean, so, dogs love it. <laughs> so, because there's... <laughs> there's bull dicks. Yeah, it's bull dicks. Yeah. You ever yeah, see those dicks. curly things at the supermarket in the dog section? It's bull dicks. No. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like the bones they chew on? They're, well, they look like bones. And well, I mean, they are bones. Metaphorically. <laughs> bones, but they're called but pizzle? Yeah. Beef pizzle. Yeah. That's their Beef pizzle. pizzle. They, they cut them off and they sell them freeze-dried. But you know what, though? How like, much would you have to be donated to eat one of those? To eat what, a bull penis? A, a beef pizzle. Not just a penis, but specifically that. I would eat part of a bull penis revolting. on stream if the opportunity conveniently presented itself. Keep in mind, they smell awful. I am in it for the experience. I don't need you guys to spend your lunch money to make me try a new thing. I'll try it. Maybe I'll like it. Well, I mean, it's for dogs, so I mean... Yeah, you're probably not gonna like it. <clears throat> well, if it's like if it's meant for dogs, I don't want to eat it. But if I, they... If it's a meal of bull dick, I'd try it. I would like, rather like, eat a bull penis. I, I would rather eat a bite of bull penis than a bite of cat food. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, but they probably are thing. both gross, and just one's just also metaphorically gross. The smell right. of cat, cat food, food on the beef dick. The Wet cat food or yeah. dry cat food? Well, I, I mean, maybe I would eat a little bit of dry cat food ahead of a bull penis, ahead of wet cat food. <laughs> Make a sandwich out of it. <laughs> it's like pate and bull dick. I mean, wet cat food can't be that bad, right? Like, it's gotta be, like, tuna. Kinda. Well, there's like different kinds. Like there was like a wet brand that was just like what you'd expect out of cat food, just mush. And there yeah. was one that like looked like meat and it smelled pretty good too. It's toenails and gravy. Mm. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, but where's the gravy from? <laughs> Bangers and meow. Do you guys remember that cat food commercial where they ring a bell and that fluffy whitey came out and it would eat yeah. it out of like a yeah. Uh, yeah. Look. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know the brand of cat it was. It's the Persian, <laughs> the Persian cat. Fluffy whitey. That's what kind of cat it is. I mean, yeah. It's, it, you know what? It, it made the image in my mind. So I think, you know, mission accomplished there. This literally, this background literally looks like Dearborn, Michigan. <laughs> I'm serious. Those, those buildings, I'm serious. That's ridiculous because it's actually London. Five years ago. It says it on the hill right there. Look. Yeah. 2012. Oh. Fuck me. They wrote it on the hill? Yeah. I can suck at this game. That's so permanent. He's done it. Oh. That's the end of the round. Is it? Anything Thank God. These here. It's very, very tight at the top. Yeah, that was yeah. Fancy Feast. There you go. Ah, oh, yeah, come on. on. Yeah, well, I've got actually, two it was bullets a, in that gun. It's a fluffy whitey. <laughs> <laughs> can we not don't don't make this a thing? Cat. Dan, how many cat breeds can you name? Um, Siamese. Okay, nice. that's yeah. one. We, we, we call them conjoined now, for political correctness, but... <laughs> Persian? Sure. Yeah. And orange and white. <laughs> American short hair, I think, is what you want. American like short hair! 
<laughs> AKA Tabby. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Tabby cat. Can he follow it up with a uh, Tabbies are usually uh, sort of brown and gray and like mixed colors, right? Or can they be all kind of colors? I don't know. There's is there, isn't, the, isn't Bengal also a cat, not the tiger? Yeah. yeah. It's based on the tiger's name, though. Right. But it's not really the tiger, no. Mm, should be the tiger. Yeah, cat brands is what I meant to say, cat brands. <laughs> I've got a dirty little social secret. Okay. Whenever anybody tells me they own a dog, I go, oh, what breed is it? I know, like, you know. <laughs> Maybe four breeds of dog. They go, oh, they always go, it's a Maltese, uh, Shih Tzu, Cocker Spaniel, Lapso. And you go, oh, that's my favorite of all the breeds. I got a multi poo, it's don't Because the, the small dog breeds are stupid. There's whoa, too many whoa, of them. whoa, whoa. Ouch. There's too many of them. Ouch. Think of all the large dog oh. breeds. You know all those. You can name I, most. What? Of them. I don't call your pet wolf stupid. <laughs> you <have to> talk. <laughs> yeah, you do. There's a else right now. <laughs> Don't you ask? My roommates. Oh, well, it's yours, my uh, default. <laughs> if your roommate's gone, who takes care of it? Good question. I mean, I do. He's done yeah. it. <laughs> I feel like you're a cat or a dog person, and there's no in between. I like both. I like both. But if you had to save one from a burning, drowning dog. building. Dog. Yeah, no, save you save itself. the cat, the dog should save itself. No, the cat's wow. gonna save itself. The, it, anytime, gonna be fine. No, anytime there is a crisis, cat instantly gets under the bed, clings under it, and is like, this is where I die. <laughs> you have to, like, pull the cat out from under the bed. Because it's, like, evolutionary biology is so messed up. It's like, oh, there's a problem here? I better force myself to stay here forever. A dog would be like, a, the dog should save the cat, and I'll save my child. Honestly, I save things that save me, so I'm saving the dog. That cat dog gonna, gonna, gonna shit save you. I mean, if they're both mine, I'm saving both. I'm not. There's no fucking situation where I'm not gonna try to save both. Mm he's -hmm. got a good point. Like, then it deserves death. This is the same chat that when I said I don't really like Hamburger Helper, they said, "Why do you hate the poor?" <laughs> a, a, a cat deserves to die because you made me fuck up my shot. <laughs> How do you shoot? Uh, uh, down on the right stick and then uh, aim with left stick. And oh, like it's that. so intuitive. <laughs> it is kind of once you get used to it. Cats are smart though, and right, they the get out. Of the division, no, or they didn't know they'd try to get out. Ruka and Tomo, they're my best friends in the whole world. If we had an actual fire, they would burn to death when the bed caught fire, <laughs> unless we saved them. That's just what they're gonna do. Don't you think that's what they deserve, though? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Dan! If you didn't train them to exit, <laughs> isn't that on the owner? How do you train a cat to run away from a fire? Well, he's got a red laser that shoots out of his special camera that he can control from Japan. So, I mean, if he can do that, he can train him to run. Mm, he is right. He does that, that special, though. special Japan camera. Uh, Ryan actually has a device in his home that that he can uh, shoot lasers at his cats, and he doesn't have to. You be got at his that home. thing? Yeah, we the got a pet cube. We got a pet cube. <laughs> How is it? It's How's the pet cube? Oh. does what it says on the tin, you know. Does yours dispense a treat, or did you not get that? We don't have that one. Oh, we did tune ready. into the pet cube once, and. Uh, our cat sitter walked into the apartment at the same time that we turned on the pet cube, so we saw him like walk walk into the apartment, and we were like, "Cheese it!" <laughs> it's like a Black Mirror episode. Does he know he's being watched when the pet cube's on? Well, that's why I exited, and then like when we got home, I told him. I was like, "Hey, just so you know, like we saw you come in once on the pet cube, but we like." Turned it off right did you, away. Did you try to fuck with him and be like, I saw what you did to my cat? No, I would never do that. <laughs> Maybe you should. That would give him, like, a lot of anxiety. Yeah, exactly. He deserves it. Oh, you're lucky, mister. Somebody in my chat said, please don't risk your life to save your pets from a fire. Is that really legit a judgment you can make, though? Well, I mean, it depends on the situation. Like, if you want to, shouldn't you be not judged for doing so. Yeah, I, I hate this like dude. <laughs> Why do we always get into this situation of like, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't do this, and then like, maybe I should be able to live a life free of judgment. You, do, you don't have access to that right. 
This show is the <laughs> most judgmental show on the planet. That's. <laughs> <laughs> if I put my pet's life on the same tier as my own, like, is there a problem there? I mean, I'd save a dog. It could be a problem for you. So yeah, but that's it's my life, right? Yeah, but it's, it's my judgment. I don't want to live forever. Do. <laughs> Dan, you got 59 <laughs> points. <laughs> that was just for one round. <laughs> Not judging, just giving advice. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it sounded like there was a heck of a lot of judgment on that statement. Honest question, I really didn't know if that's a thing. That uh, judge me all you the want. The thing is, you shouldn't fire. be outside of your house that's burning down and be like, I want to save my pet, but I'm worried they're going to judge me. You should be worried <laughs> about the fire. Well, I'm not going to be in that situation. I'm saying now when there isn't a fire. Okay, this is not a joking question. So, <laughs> <laughs> so say, you okay. the, say you lived on the third story. Yeah, uh, and you're you can either let your cat stay in there or you can throw them out the window and they'll land on their feet. Well, is that a true statement, or do you let them roast? <laughs> you throw them out the window, right? Know, but will they survive though? Because I three I think... stories absolutely they'll survive. Yes, get rubbed With out. No get rubbed out. It's quite possible they'll get have rubbed. no injury. It's not guaranteed though. Can somebody in the in the back <laughs> of the pack do anything to stop this guy? <laughs> What am I That's supposed what to you do need back to win, there? I'm on a new level. Let's go. I'm on that new bezel. Oh. New bezel? <laughs> Who's in the Penn State outfit? Get that out of here. <laughs> the Nittany Lions? Oh, yeah, he knows. He's done it. Come on, baby. God, I hate this game. He's on so baby. stupid. He's actually on catch -up. No, Spartan. He a blue shell. How many more laps we got? That's it. <laughs> oh. As long as I'm in number two, I can pass Ryan any day of the week. <laughs> I I put up a fight. I am actually we all start equal distance from the person in front of us, right? How is it possible me and Austin are in a neck and neck like tooth and nail fight and there's nobody behind us? Just tap A! The people the people are punching me in the butt. <laughs> Cats I would do the terminal velocity of a 90% survival rate. Yeah. No, I know about the aerodynamics of cats falling. I, I would I would a drop a lot of documentaries on this. I would <laughs> drop Ruka and Tomo. <laughs> but if I have right. to if I have to grab them out from under the bed, I'll just carry them down. I know, yeah, but you don't have that option. How so but, but how? To, you have to throw them out. Because like they'd be scratching you the whole way down, so right? What? So like you Yeah. No, there's just you do you can't. You have There's to a guy with a gun to your head. And you just, <laughs> you the <laughs> no, the idea is you have to jump too. I think that makes the most sense. <laughs> you think you'd survive? You'd probably survive a three-story drop. Three -story? Yeah, you'd break your. If you knew it was coming, on how yeah. you land. You know? If you knew it was coming, I think you could you could plan for it. Yeah. As a non-cat owner, can cats swim? They can, but they're not great at it. Yeah, Some they really, like water, really, they hate water. Some do, not most. Some. Sometimes our stupid cat poops on his leg, and then we gotta take him to the sink and wash his foot. And you'd think that it was like we were waterboarding him, like. Yeah. <laughs> it's just water, you so stupid sad. idiot. That sounds like a dog. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah. Why He's got so the bit. Bad? He's got the bits, though. Dug it. So you, but Dan won. He won. He's done it. He's done it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Austin, I would like my 100. Yes, uh, I'm going to take my bits, please. <laughs> would you please hand them over for me? I hope you're buying your 600 bits right now. <laughs> you I'll take that. mine in large bits. <laughs> in dark blue and, and orange. Can we talk about how Rob thinks there's six people other than me in this call? <laughs> Can we talk about how you owe me 100 bits? Well, let's have a check uh, on the medal tally then. Third... Dan, how's your son doing? Doing good, actually. Is he he's one year old yet? He's getting there. He's taking swim lessons right now. No way. Really? Yeah. You you we're giving like a, a nine-month-old like infant swimming lessons? It's like a survival <laughs> thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. It looks good. I mean, remember we read 
recently that 40% of America can't swim, so like, really? uh, start them early. Yeah. And Can everyone in this call language, language as well? Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Thank you, Austin. You... Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you guys swim? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys know anyone that can't? Yeah. Probably, but they wouldn't admit it to me. Melf seems just... like the kind of guy that can't swim. No, he swims like crazy, I bet. <laughs> yeah. I just had the best shot discus of my life. Congrats. 74. Oh. You earned this. Thank you. I'm on a new level. Can we talk about tattoos? I don't want yeah, to talk sure. about tattoos. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this guy oh, I did it. He actually... Austin just tipped me 100 bits. He did it. Oh, we're a man of my bits, Austin. I mean, let me load the fucking pages, all right? <laughs> it does take a second. Are you aware that Cobalt I wasn't even into that. is having a child? I am aware that Cobalt is having a child. <laughs> Mini uh, oh, thank you, Austin, for the, for the tier 100 rain stick for you, my friend. Don't rain stick me. <laughs> oh, let's go. Yeah, Cobalt is having a child. Yeah? Crazy. Mm. And Kate, too? I mean, that's no. insane. <laughs> Have you thought about how you would announce that, Ryan? We'd probably just wait until the kid was old enough to announce it themselves. <laughs> He's done it, last gray wolf, 100 bits, man of his word. <laughs> Never how do you have time to do that while we throw the discus? You know, I just do what I gotta do. My, my guy just did a ballerina twirl and that was it. That seems like a really good throw. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's one whole thing higher than me. No, I don't think that was the announcement that Kate was pregnant right there. I don't think that was it. No, nah, she's pregnant. You guys actually, like, you might not know how awesome it is. Like, I'm not saying that having a kid is a bad idea. But being married but not having a kid is, like, pretty sweet. <laughs> I intend to keep that going for at least a little while longer. <laughs> That's like an end game aspiration for me, honestly. Mm. I mean, nah. real talk, real talk, like non meme talk. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, I was kind of in that camp too, but it's good. Like, it's really, it's like, uh, take your level from level 10 to level 100 and I'm, enjoy every step of it. I do wow. believe that. That's I'm a big improvement. Yeah. I mean, that's like, a, that's pretty accurate. Robert, nice try, nice try. I was close. But also, Dan, I can't take your opinion seriously because you got skin in the game. Mm, literally. I didn't want to say it out loud, but I thought it. <laughs> what do you mean I got skin in the game? I mean, you can't say, like, yeah. it's the worst thing. Yeah, you can't oh, be like, I wish I didn't. <laughs> I would tell you guys in private, though. I'd be like, True. Yeah. I, I would. I would. <laughs> Under the table. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I know we like this. The clients of ours that don't have kids, we call them no kid rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But at least you get to teach them how to throw a baseball and stuff. That sounds well, that, like a fun time. That's the best part about it. And if you're on the fence, this goes beyond you guys as well. If you're on the fence, it's like you get to relive the best parts of being a kid, except mm. through another person. You know what I mean? But not like that. In a different <laughs> way. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, it's not, not like, like, oh, I'm like, I'm like playing, I want him to be a pro baseball player or something. But you just, you know, it's fun. It's like you get to be a kid again. If you're on the fence, I don't think you're playing baseball, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe you're skateboarding. What if it's a long one, you know? You're trying to get that last out of the ninth inning. The green monster. <laughs> right, yeah. Right? Trying to climb the green monster. Say. Well, that's in the green yeah. monster, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want your kid to grow up to be a green monster. Someone in my chat said, who's the guy with the Boston accent? He's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Go, 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 go! No, not slow, oh. slow! I said go! Oh, oh, I did it oh wow, that was so close. We were like almost really exactly close. tied. <laughs> All Look! in 0.2 seconds. Yeah. That was that was fantastic. Oh, point Boston oh, Rob. Oh, God. We, but I think like if you stream, you have to have a child at some point, so chat stops roasting you about like <laughs> taking any time off. 
Oh no. I'm going you guys to try hard on this game. I've never been more tilted playing London in my life. I, just, I could actually lose. I'm going to Seattle for 24 hours to write an exam. And then people Stop in chat. Right well, to Dude, take an exam. exam mean? Don't even start with me. To take an exam. And then people in chat, some of them ironically, some of them not so much, are going, well, another vacation. <laughs> Must be nice to be able to take 24 hours to take an exam. Why did you go to Seattle? They had one in Vancouver, but it was like six weeks ago. And I missed it. Never mind, you all suck. Okay, never mind. Rob's on the ball. Wow. All exams. Your score hadn't popped up yet. <laughs> but why? Doesn't your university in Vancouver? This is an independent certification. Oh. What is the uh, acronym? Uh, oh, that's the it's a uh, it's called the Fuku. <laughs> <laughs> and what does it stand for? For us, by only. us. Yeah, for us by. <laughs> oh, you made me get a seven. <laughs> uh, and what is it? Unity. Yeah, it's a Unity certification exam. Mm, if you start that? roasting yourself for making Unity games like you do all the other That's ones. That's Mathis! <laughs> Cheap asset flips is what I call them. Yeah, so I can't believe that this game that had a hundred professionals with a thousand millennia of experience between them was made in Unity. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Every game you make, though, it better have. Oh my god, I got a seven. It better have that line of code that keeps the mouse bound within the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I'm not gonna forget. <laughs> oh, you guys are never gonna see these. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna sell also them all to Martin Shkreli. <laughs> is he still doing stuff on Twitch? Oh, he's he's. That's all he does is do stuff. Oh, good. That's his thing. Then he he bought a Wu Tang album that was never released. Yeah. 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 And he, he just listens. A little bit of it on stream. Mm -hmm. He listens to it every day. Mm -hmm. Would what artist would you buy their only album and it hoard it for yourself? Bowie. Well, well yeah, I wouldn't hoard it to myself. Yeah, I also probably wouldn't hoard it. But that's the the, the catch. So <laughs> you have to hoard it. <laughs> you have to hoard it. If you, you have, have to hoard, hoard it. Nick, what, who would it be for you? Oh no. Never uh, between the berries. I, I sure. knew it. Okay, oh. Between the buried and who? And me. And who? Mew? <laughs> I, I can't. Yeah, what about myself. the sequel, Mew 2? There's a band called Mew. Buried and Mew? <laughs> yes, there is. There is a band called that. They've been around Young. for quite a few years, too. Actually, what about Prince, though? Because apparently Prince has like 40 albums that have just been. What? Okay? Did a bullet just ricochet? That, that's a oh, Prince impression. <laughs> oh, okay. that was a great Prince impression. You I know, on Little Red Corvette where he goes, pew! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, guys, this is one I don't know how to do. Okay. You. <laughs> well, if you guys use the right left sticks, do the right left sticks! <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Yo, but Dan, look at the green circle and tell me what it looks like. The green circle? If you're not seeing green circles, you got a real problem. <laughs> An Isaac mean? face? That's a foul. Heading towards Stonehenge. This is one of the quickest sections. In blah, 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 blah. How about the He's waves driving? in this game? Yeah, I don't know, right? Yeah. Like, I'm not even joking. Uncharacteristically better than pretty much every other thing about the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm stuck in Stonehenge. Fuck. Yeah. How'd you get through Piccadilly Circus, though? <laughs> I wish this was procedurally generated in, like, a different course every time. That'd be pretty hard mm. for the Olympians, dude. <laughs> I don't care. And the They're people who built the course. <laughs> He's done it! He's done it! First place. No, Dan. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stroking hard as he crosses the line! But I finished before you guys. You had 80 penalties. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> look at my time, though. 
Nick, did you just have an amazing race? Because I just, I just did it. I've done it. I, uh, I think I missed the last gate and smashed into it. <laughs> Not my strongest. It's to earn rack attack. <laughs> if only there were hurdles on the course, huh, Dan? <laughs> I pick and choose my battles. <laughs> Easy win, boys. Golden racks. Golden racks. Um, jumps. The jumps. <laughs> What's the <laughs> jumping round? You want trampoline? That's too many jumps. Yes! <laughs> That's far too many jumps. Yes! Mm. Ah, delicious water. Dan, I love water. Look, okay, that's we're not going down that road. <laughs> Dan, at what age does a child go to preschool? Five. Uh, five? Five? five yeah. That's four just school, five. my dogs. It's four or five. I don't know. You can send. I mean, our little guy's. He's gonna be going to Montessori here pretty soon. Ooh. Like within the next thirty yeah. days. Doesn't that mean he gets to choose his own curriculum? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's kind of a cool concept, to be honest. Wait, what? What is it? A Montessori, Montessori school. school. Kanye's gonna open one. What? What does it do? Like, that's, what do, a, do? that's a monster story. Transforms your life. No, it's just like a different way of like learning. Instead of sitting at a desk for eight hours, it's like, hey, you do what you want. What you're drawn to, more or less. But he's that's like nine months old, right? <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you? <laughs> what he's drawn to uh he likes parrots and the nice. piano. hell yeah so. dude i like parrots too who doesn't you know oh he's burned. oh he's done it he's protected the lead god oh that game i like i do like this one there's a mind game in it yeah are you gonna send your kids to kanye school Cam? Uh, Cam? 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 Um, Kanye? <laughs> but I will Cam say is back, and that's the first time you've done that. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I gotta get Cam and Dan in a room. With you Josh. cannot. That is not okay. <laughs> King Jaffe Jofi of Nigeria just subscribed. Said on this ultralight beam thing. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> if Cam and Dan were in the same like Discord call, the universe would just collapse under entropy. <laughs> It wouldn't work. Camera? What about entropy, though? That's a good question, honestly. My Montessori has nothing special either. I. What is that? I mean, I just feel like. I think I might be a hundred years old. Yeah, you are. Because yeah, I think like. Are. I think kids should learn what? like a lot of math. Really? Yeah. Why'd you say that? teaches problem-solving skills that are applicable over a wide range of disciplines. Mm. Nah, that's stupid. You guys are like, well, if he wants to knit when he's two, just let him knit all day. Oh. Yeah, maybe you should fucking knit. Maybe he likes knitting. I'm not, I got nothing against knitting. No, but Montessori is more like, hey, if you like literature, you're going to be more drawn to that. But you still learn, yeah. like, the same principle. What if you like skipping school? <laughs> what are you doing in YouTube the meantime? Have, <laughs> <laughs> have they ever had any cut-ups in a Montessori school? So, I'd really like if you shut up right now. <laughs> I'd really like if you give me $200 so I can buy some cigarettes. <laughs> My fucking ankles keep hitting the stupid pole. Get better ankles, stupid. You, both of your ankles like hit the stupid pole on the way out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I, that, you know, having heard of this for the first time today, sounds like a real cool idea. I think it's a good idea. My mom I... went to, uh, it wasn't a Montessori school, but it was like a... Kids are beautiful creatures, and they should be allowed to structure their days in whatever way they want to. And I think that that's a really cool idea. If you got somebody who's like, hey, I already know I want to be like a mechanic. Take me out of this English literature class. Let me do another mechanic class every day. I get that. But her explanation to me was that mostly people skipped a lot of class and smoked pot all day. 
Mm. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But, <laughs> but that's that what college is for. Schools. Yeah, but that happens at regular <laughs> schools too. It's not like that happens only in that school. That didn't... Well, I don't know. You have to talk to Mouth. I just for oh! I'm not saying he did. I'm just saying for like cool maybe he's got a broader knowledge. Cuz I just sort of like went to class. The big question now is where the oh, will take fucking the nerd. <laughs> Ryan, how did you style your hair in high school? Oh, the the flip at the front. Fucking ankles. What do you mean the flip in the front? You know, like the um the shark? Yeah. <laughs> 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 like like said a dorsal fin? Yeah, like Tintin. No, like it's spiky in the front? Yeah. Oh, you're one of those kids. <laughs> what would it take for you to share one of those images? <laughs> Dan, you always take it one step too far, buddy. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> what? You're never happy. You're never just happy here in the description. You're always like, can I get a free sample of that? <laughs> <laughs> well, then you know it's real. Why would, what, why would I lie about it? You're out here selling... Uh, Electric cars and SpaceX, but we've never even seen one. I'm not selling anything. You asked to buy an electric car. <laughs> and I said that I have them. And then you said, can I have one for free? I said, can I just open up the engine and poke around a little bit? <laughs> what kind of hairstyle did you have? This could be a difficult decision. Mm. You shark? Like, skull it? Yeah, you still got a shark, sort of. Mm, I'm kind of, I'm getting on your level, to be honest. Mm. That's, that's, how I, it, I wear hats that's how it happens, man. Yeah. I remember when I was 34, and I started to <laughs> losing a little up top. I'm gonna be bald one day. I'm not looking forward to it. It's actually, like, completely irrelevant for the rest of your life. Yeah, but, like... I don't know if I have a good head shape to be like bald. You yeah, know? but it like it actually like doesn't matter. Yeah, but like I also I don't know if I've hair. ever seen a bald guy and been like, wow, he looks to to terrible bald. <laughs> People are just like they're out there. Bald. Was that hard for you to accept going bald? No, because I owned mirrors. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Is it hard to accept that it's raining today? I wanted to go to the beach. It's raining. Yeah, but I really wanted to go to the beach. It's raining. You can't go to the beach. There were See, things you could have like done. You're a parody adult because you won't go to the beach when it rains. Why would you go to the beach when it rains? Because it's awesome. What are you, are you like rolling around in the mud? Yeah. <laughs> Sand doesn't make mud. Dirty boy. <laughs> I am. I am. I am. Though the only other option is to just shave the top and get like a Ron Jeremy skullet. <laughs> or wear a do-rag like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> you ever think of like, like having like really long hair of the hair that you still have? No. <laughs> have you seen Baylon Greyjoy? <laughs> that, would... <laughs> that would be fucking awesome, awesome dude. <laughs> I have actually. Yeah. I have a. I, I know a guy who is his hair is fully gray, and he uh, it, it went fully gray when he was like twenty nine. Yeah. I'd rather be gray than bald. <laughs> Ouch. Not offended. Oh, I think that's a fairly sensible opinion, honestly. <laughs> The, the good news is, you're probably going to get to experience both, so... <laughs> I, got a I just little... want to grow a fucking beard. That's all I want. I, still I, got, a, do I got a couple gray hairs coming in the, uh, in the chin area already. That's pretty cool, though. I got, like, a lot coming in on the left and right sides of my head, and it's making me really self-conscious. Oh, was that good? A lot of grays? Yeah. So I know. consider dying it? I don't just, know. Just yet. for men. Probably. Just for men, gel. <laughs> I'm a little worried about what happens when I get gray pubes. Because, like. <laughs> he turned into a wire bristle. Just gonna have to manscape more, man. Oh, I got like a 10. Too bad I stepped over the line. Cut them all off, put them on a piece of tape, and use them to scour your dishes. Oh, it was enough! <laughs> I've done it! He's a burger of men. <laughs> Should be no nerves now in round number four. 
You guys gonna get laser surgery on your balls one day? Like, absolutely not. <laughs> I don't know. So you have lasers balls. Laserous balls. Laserous balls, yeah. Oh shit! Damn! Damn. Damn. I'm Damn. The hell? <laughs> what? That's the second highest score behind Josh. Yeah, ever. I pick my battles. Josh is the only one who got over nine until now. Oh yeah, S and P. We brought it back around for the closing of the show. S and P. The gray exactly. hair. Closing of the show. <laughs> you, we doing another hour? <laughs> Show's still going, buddy. Eight point nine nine, five point nine seven. That's actually a great idea. Why don't we just do like a double NLSS one day and just do six hours back to back? Wait, I mean, on, I, I would be up for three hours of Battlegrounds after this. If, uh... <laughs> no, you won't, because I invited you. Yeah, that's because I got to study. Yeah. <laughs> but like next Get week, study. <laughs> next week, I'd consider it. Why don't we play fun games Are you instead? fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, like, got him. Like point straight. oh three. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could pass without studying? No. It's, it's not that it's hard, it's just that the questions covered are too specific. Hey, wait, hold on. Secondary, this is an important question. Do we get another hundred bits, or...? <laughs> <laughs> You don't, if you bet on the Patriots in one Super Bowl, and lose on the Super Bowl, you don't lose your money again. Wait, just go into it blind. Don't even study. It's a terrible idea. I, I paid well, money to write the study exam. after you play Battlegrounds. <laughs> Eat the banana. Don't study. You guys are full of good ideas. Eat the banana and don't study. You won't poison yourself. Why are you such an adult? <laughs> Have a kid, by the way. <laughs> I don't want to have a kid. Whoa, why don't you grow up? Simultaneously stop being so old, you bald fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what kind of student were you in high school? Like, academically? Uh, All the frames. A, a bit above average at times, like, average at other times. I could see you being, like, a legendary literature student. <laughs> I liked English some of the most, like English and photography were my two favorite things in high school. What did you take pictures of? <laughs> Everything. I just walked around, took pictures everywhere. Do you have one that's just burned into the ether? Not burned into the ether, but I have like a lot that are developed and on, you know, film paper. Did you go into the red room? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we definitely did a lot of that. <laughs> that was actually really fun because that was the one place where it was like pretty much a chill environment. All the students would just kind of hang out in there. So you had to just develop your pictures, right? So you had usually like 40 minutes of just hanging out with your friends, just chatting and doing film stuff. Would anything unsavory happen in the red room? <laughs> Why would it? <laughs> not supervised. Just a room. I mean, people come in and out. It's not like it's like private private. <laughs> Isn't it if you open the door, then it ruins the uh, exposure yeah. level? Well, yeah, that's the whole thing. It's got to stay dark in there. With darkness comes a lack of light. <laughs> Shit. You're right about that. <laughs> he hasn't been wrong about that very fact. Perfect angle! That may be my best ever triple jump. <clears throat> At 17.75, that's my best ever. I got 16.56 and then 16.56 subsequent to that. <laughs> Why get 16.56 again? I deserve a gold medal. 300 bits. <laughs> oh! Passing them out like candy at this point. Oh, it's closer. I'll just take a silver instead. My photo teacher was so cool. He had this one computer that he'd keep it, like for reference, but he let me install Soldier of Fortune 2 on it and play online. Oh, wow. with the destructible environments? <laughs> yeah, man. He sounds really cool. <laughs> he was very nice about the whole thing. It sounds like he has a great passion for the source material. <laughs> Just well, let his classmates so play. Eventually, he saw how violent it was and said I couldn't have it up anymore, but. <laughs> For a while, hacked, it was real fun. I hacked my college's computers so I could play Terraria on them. That's cool. Aren't you worried that this is the future of your son if you send him to a Montessori school, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> I went to a public school, so really, this should, so did you know. I. Yeah. yeah. 
Did I ever tell you about the, the student I had that ruined Halo for everyone in the class? Oh, no. I think I you never... did, but I've forgotten. So, long story short, I was, we were doing a biology lesson, and the kids got done early, so we went to the computer lab, and they land together, um, like, Halo 1, right? So, we, I brought on USB, they all played it, and then I logged in, and I saw what one of the kids' names was. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he ruined it for everyone, because, you know, some of the kids' names were like Johnny 715, uh, Billy 85, or like Star Killer. And then there was one kid. He, he named himself Sweaty G O O C H. And I'm like, I didn't know what that <laughs> And I didn't know what that meant. So I asked the class, I'm like, what does this mean? And then, of course, you know, all the kids start laughing. And then we removed Halo from biology class. <laughs> Why didn't you just let him have the sweaty gooch, dude? Because he didn't admit it. That was the other thing too. He like hid. I was laughing. So time now to hand over to Seth Bennett. A big thank you to Alison Kirby. Yeah, you had a sweaty Gucci. Gotta tell me. That's the. That's the anatomical. I'm pressing YP. Stop giving it. I swear to God, if you do the little one more time, I'm gonna kill you, game. Shoutouts to sweaty Gucci. Yeah, I think he's got a Twitch channel now, actually. Sweaty Gooch. A Halo Esports is making like a million dollars a week. <laughs> I'm calling a DNF on this one. A Polish, Polish performance. Yep. How do you, how do you finish it? <laughs> oh, men's trampolines. Alright, last one. Greatest hits. Alright, yeah. Oh, he's done it? Is this it? Third place? Oh, shit. Just give me five pistols in a row, see if anyone can beat me. Not I, Javelin. I want Kieran as my vote. I want Archery and Javelins. You don't get to pick no. two. <laughs> no, Nick, not Javelin. what event would you like? Uh, uh, the gun shooty bang. The pistols. Oh, all right. Not against that. Because somewhere in me is the ability to do really well at that, but it's going to take 100 tries. So just want to keep trying at it. <laughs> yeah, that's, Rob, that's are you all right, man? <laughs> yeah, I think I just died a little bit. <laughs> Night, Lynn. <laughs> that was like, that, like halfway between like an intentional and unintentional noise. <laughs> Some might say accidental. <laughs> Right. Out and Dan, you got first. You gotta defend your gold. That's true. Oh fuck, I got a delayed start. Fuck you. Game. Should have been better. How'd you like that start, Austin? Good, but don't hit a hurdle. Oh, you're supposed to not hit the hurdles. He That's... didn't hit a hurdle. I thought you get a bonus for hitting every one of them. <laughs> he stole it. Ooh, he was number two though. <laughs> My god. I hit nearly every hurdle. <laughs> Sometimes you just hit him, man. I don't think that athlete even wants to jump. Sylvie. Dan, you like He-Man? I did like He-Man as a kid. I was actually just thinking about it. There was a green mossy guy that had a unique smell. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. You know what I'm talking about? No, not at all. Are you serious? Do you think He-Man could beat up Conan? Yes. He was Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> he is a master you know of the Lundgren? universe. Yes, I know he has a master's degree in chemical engineering, <laughs> Robert. Dolph Lundgren does? Yes. Yeah? He's got a bunch of degrees. Is that one of the Rob things that he always says? I didn't know that It's one. a Reddit no, thing. No, he just also saw the Reddit post. The oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how do I throw this thing? This candy cane? Back forward. Yeah. Is it a mint, though? <laughs> Creme de mint. No. That's a uh, liqueur, right? Mm -hmm. Creme de mint patty. What that was that one show? Tough. The right story. <laughs> there was a show where it was like also like... It was like like ancient times. Not like ancient Xena times. Xena Warrior like Princess. Like, no, 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 no. They were cavemen. But then there was like this weird like yellow blob thing. Land of the Lost. Had... No, he's talking about the cartoon. I know exactly. It was the cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The two little black eyes. Yeah, dinosaur. 
Little... No, <laughs> that, that, is that was it. Yeah. It's called dinosaurs. <laughs> it had this like jelly thing and like a screaming dinosaur that would like paralyze things. Did it say not the yeah, mommy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and there was a dude that looked just like He Man. Yes, yes. I think exactly. he wore like Herculoids. a red index. What is it called? Herculoids. 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 Yeah, dude. I could not Herculoids. remember that either. What's the angle yeah. we're trying to get here? 35. Okay. That show is weird. Very trippy show, honestly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Triceratops don't foul. He's gonna foul. Gun. He's so don't gonna foul. foul. Don't foul. Oh, he didn't foul! He didn't foul! Oh no, that's terrible. Why is that so bad? You get extra points if you hit the plane in the background. Oh, you piece of shit. Herculoids. What was your guys' favorite action figure to play with as a young lad? I can't even answer this question honestly because you guys are gonna think I'm being a parody of myself. So no, come on, come on. Oh, I want to know. Now. Is it an egg? No, I didn't play with action figures. What? I didn't, I didn't either. <laughs> I don't no, get it. For children. No, it's just it's not that. I, as a kid, I wasn't like these are for babies. I was just like I don't get it. It's wow, a piece of Rob plastic got blown out of the water on the last. Yeah, what the fuck, guys? He's done it. <laughs> No, I, I'm with you, and I didn't, I didn't, didn't play with them at all. I'm very so, glad to hear that. What a coincidence! So you and me are at the top of the leaderboards here. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> never GI Joe or TMNT. Nothing. Nah. No I, 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 I did enjoy GI Joe toys. In fact, I have a GI Joe, a GI Joe toy. GI Joe. GI Joe toy. GI Joe toy. I still have one that I used to clean my fingernails. Ew. Bro, <laughs> wait, we need to we need to Bro. dig a little deeper here. What did you? What was in place what? of action figures? Wait, no, we can't just slide by that. Like that didn't just happen. There's such range on that. It's not. It's not that big. It's not that big of a deal to clean your fingernails with a toy. Yes, it is. It's just what is very it weird. Evening. What? Okay, what's the difference using the actual fingernail cleaning thing? Well, one of them is designed for the purposes of cleaning your fingernails. And the other one is designed to be plastic and not metal tool. And it feels a little bit nicer. It's not disgusting. It's, it's very really strange. Not... Yeah, it's a little bit strange, but it's like not disgusting. What kind of toy is it? It's a old G.I. Joe toy. I'm trying to understand how it gets under your nail. Yeah. No, they got these little like mitten hands, so the the little <laughs> little thumb is <laughs> <there>. you <laughs> have <your> plastic <laughs> hand yeah, yeah. under your nails? Well you use the thumb. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How often do you wash this toy? <laughs> Yes, oh, okay, okay, you did. Now, okay. Yeah, yeah, as I much mean, as he washes I know the his wall. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I did not realize this was going to be the most disgusting thing that you guys it's... have ever heard. It's using a piece of plastic to clean something on your body. Yeah, you're not I really don't clean it. It seems like you're running, you know, like 12 years worth of dirt under your fingernails every time you use it. You guys don't clean your nails? Yeah, I just I dispute that dirt? you're cleaning. I them. use the metal thing. You, you guys have you guys have specifically the metal thing you take you, you clean your nails all the time. Yeah, I gotta keep them clean, right? That's what they say. Uh, well, I got one. I heard one. Uh, how just in case. One? I I don't wash don't my fingernails. You just wash your hands in the shower. Yeah. And... Like, my, yeah you wash them. Yeah, you wash them, but then you also get dirt under your nails. You just then you, you wash you, you wash your hands. He also doesn't keep my nails trimmed. Your nails does, out all the no. time. Wait, can I ask you a question, Rob? Yeah. What are you doing that you amass so much dirt that you have to have a specific toy to clean it on a daily basis? I think you basis? guys just have dirty fucking fingernails. Not, I'm, I'm looking at my hands right now. Well. They look great. Regular dirt. They look they look fine right now. So, Rob, the question is, what are you digging your hands into? I'm not digging my hands into anything. Sometimes Maybe you get dirt under your fingernails. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not <laughs> Dan's lost. Man. Yo, watch it, Dan. Nothing. What would be in your fingernails that look like dirt but isn't dirt? This is the last hour of the competition. Nothing? Poop? Mm. I think it's going for poop. <laughs> yeah, I'm cleaning my butt with my fingers. <laughs> cleaning my butt with his fingers. <laughs> Wiping my ass with a toy. Two times. Living my life like a Robert. <laughs> Living my life like a Honestly, Robert. You guys are gross when I clean Eating out your all my meals off of paper. <laughs> Living you, you, you like Robert. You eat stuff with your fucking hands. You're not cleaning your fingernails. 
<laughs> I gotta clean my fingernails. Just wash your. Did you take a shower? I wash my hands all the time. You don't wash them well enough, I guess. I wash them like five times a day. It doesn't get under your nails when you wash your hands all exactly. the way. Exactly. Oh, totally just... does. That's no, it ludicrous. Does you guys are washing your hands because society tells you to, not for the thrill of the kill, my man. I get under every nook and cranny. You guys gotta clean your fucking fingernails. My fingernails are so Next clean. Next time you're in the shower, you got soap. Run your nails like against the palm of your hand in the soap. Wash yeah. it clean. I, I, I do oh that too. God. Sometimes you get dirt under your fingernails, man. You know how awful it is if you get the little bit of soap stuck way under your nail and you can't that, get it out? What are you talking about? What are you? You happens. use water to get the soap <laughs> out. Get on the outside. He's trying, he's trying to socially engineer me. Yeah, I tried to social engineer him, he didn't work. I hate the feeling under my nail of the soap. I hate the feeling under my nail of dirt, which is why I <laughs> my Oh, my screen! <laughs> You're fucked! You're all fucked! Oh, maybe I'm fucked. <laughs> Who's green? You oh, Get out of here, Ryan! I'm the green monster! Oh, I'm the worst. He's done it! Oh, Wait, that's not the last lap? I thought that was the end. <laughs> I hate this game! <laughs> Not London, just this bicycle game. He's done it. I well give done. up. Well done, well you guys done. Good race, good race. Take the W. You know what? We had to fight for that one, so I, I appreciate that. Yeah, it was actually that. a third person involved for once. <laughs> <sighs> good race, good what race. That music? Oh, look at that, Daniel! Why are you so surprised, man? Did you just see the side? tournament of shame? <laughs> Who's clicking around? Click it's Rob <laughs> arguing with chat, I guarantee it. it. Yeah, with my own chat. <laughs> None of you would last long. I, I don't even understand how it's... I literally do not understand how it's disgusting to clean your fingernails. You were the one who asserted that. that our nails must be dirty. All I did was because push back got, against that. Because I got literally the, the vomit emoji for cleaning my fucking fingernails. <laughs> but you're cleaning them with a, with a toy. Who cares? <laughs> who gives a shit? What you clean it with if you're cleaning your fucking fingernails? But you never clean the toy. I do, clean the, I do clean it. Uh, Rob, I gotta be honest with you about one thing. Yeah. I'm not a non-judgmental person. Yeah. But, but when I saw your stream with your like 1980s camera and the dirt on the back of your wall, Dan, I started... I'm gonna stop you right there because you have broken glass in your office. So you know what? You do not get to take the high ground. The high ground here on this one. Fucking you did have somebody in come office. in, and then you had to apologize to them for the broken glass everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was, but, but that's not dirt, though. That's not the worst. No, that's a fair point. Oh, that was... Oh. Thank you, Hail Gaming, for the 100 bits. Uh, ask what childhood toy does Rob use to wipe his butt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys just have fucking nasty ass fucking. No, fun. my fingernails are fine, off. dude. This is just fucking gross. Clean oh your fucking God. fingernails. I'm gonna lose. Nasty bastards. I don't even have to be defensive about it because I can just look at them. They're good. <laughs> Wait, cool. let's go back. Austin and Ryan, what did you supplement your childhood with in place of plastic action figures? Video games and books. <laughs> but as a kid, you played video games like a three-year-old? Yeah. Yeah, me too, actually. I played, like, whenever the N64 was out, uh, nonstop. What tactile thing did you play? Uh, I had, when I was young, young, I had, like, Legos. And Legos snacks. are action figures? <laughs> what are you not? talking about? Oh, uh, there's Dominoes, a Batman. Man. Love dominoes, love marble mazes, still do to this day, honestly. Legos oh, are action figures. Are we witnessing history here? Hold don't, on. Don't even, get out of my head. No, I gotta build the hype here. No, he's trying to I mind fuck me. I just put in a mind fucking chastity belt. You can't get in. Uh, I, hey man, I'll you be need happy the key. to give you, you need the, the key. eventually. The ultimate pressure? Better be a good one, Ryan. Oh! It was good enough to beat Robert. Probably because my hands are slightly uh, <laughs> less weighty because they have a little bit less dirt <laughs> on them. Got the streak. <laughs> that was a PB for me, though. I'll take it. He's got to clean your fucking hands. My hands are so clean, Robert. My hands are so clean. You have no are idea. They? I would, I, I would eat off of my hand right now, and I do on the regular. I'm, I'm, I'm about to. Well, thanks for watching. Why don't we take some time to pimp our channels? We'll start with the uh, Daniel.
Hey everyone, my name is uh, Dan. No, thank you guys so much for having me. It's fun <laughs> as always, and uh, you can check me out at youtubecom slash We got a I like the series. I like the part where you start as a normal person and then you break character to become yourself, <laughs> who is also a normal person. Uh, <laughs> and I have a PUBG series going on with this guy right here, and uh, some other guys right here, and I also post Star Citizen every day on youtube.com slash dangeesling. I'm streaming after this some PUBG with uh, Wolves at My Door. I'll see you guys then. Nice. How about you, Robert? I am Al Pack Patrol, who's disgusting for cleaning his nails. Go watch <laughs> me in places. That is all. Wait, can you keep me when you read the subs, please? Sure. <laughs> thank you. Austin, you may pimp your channel. Oh, thank you. I'm Austin, twitch.tv slash last underscore gray underscore wolf. I'll be also playing PUBG after this. Um, I'm supposed to play with uh, Richard and Paws, but they're late, so maybe I'll just play on my own. But uh, yeah, come watch. How about you, Nicholas? Hey, everybody, I'm Rockley Smile. Remember, if I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'll eat poison. You can check me out <laughs> youtube.com slash Rockley Smile, twitter.com slash Rockley Smile, here on twitch.tv slash Rockley Smile, the only channel where I'll eat poison. It's <laughs> 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 oh. so funny. <laughs> The delivery Dude, was pretty good. Laugh is so was, funny. The delivery was top notch. <clears throat> it's okay. fucking Domino's, man. The second Dan starts laughing, I can't handle it. All right, you I should hang up if you don't want to hear subscribers. That's fair. Because I'm not going to move to a separate call. So consider this your fair warning. Thanks for watching the Northern Land Live Super Show. We'll be back at the same time tomorrow, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursdays. 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursdays. I have not gotten sick yet, so the likelihood of getting sick in the next 90 days is low. That is not how statistics work. I think it might be how statistics work. For example, if the Detroit Lions were 15-0, and 0, what kind of prediction would you... Or sorry, 0-15. What kind of prediction would you make for them in week 16? I would be expecting a loss is probably more likely than a win. Maybe it's not random chance that people get food poisoning. Maybe their hands are getting cleaned by these old-ass action figures... And they're more likely to get sick. I was kind of surprised about the action figure as well. Well, I thought this was like your closing statement. That's yeah, I thought it was. Well, it was, but then there was, it wasn't, there was a so subscription where somebody tried the R, uh, R slash I am very smart me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Their name is President of Math, though, so I am inclined to believe them. Either way, hey, thanks for the cheers. We got um, Bone Saw is ready and Last Gray Wolf. That's good. Oh. Austin really <laughs> held it together for us there. And, uh, okay, subscriptions. Cot WQQ, Slavok, Mr. Wiggly Wiggly, Jopo12, <laughs> Decession1, Zorotsu, Lord Harkon, Do Not Know Name, Flozor91, Mockup Music, Northern Lion's Hair, Boy Drew Boy, <laughs> Taeyon Tron, H Dogger, Tuscan Garlic Chicken Raider, Club Rat, <laughs> Universums, Mad Lad Bass, Not a Man Bun, Code1005, Albino Bear, Solo Rubik's, Almost Postal, Metal Knight19, Nolarick, Rubber Poop Monster, Xor Riot, <laughs> Caladust, Napalm Chicken, Demons on Pacto, V Mad Matt, Brolar, Tooth Baby, Void Gate, <laughs> Perich, Phantom J, I Cause 9, Frozen Abyss Zero, Slow Wolf, Khaki 5000, Signice, Mego Bean, Last Grey Wolf, Sleepy Jeff 23, Bagel Crisps, Stephen 421, Sir Monty, Galtego, Small Fry SSB, Frisco285, Government of Canada, The Birdman, H40 Locks Hunter, Halo X Hunter, that's probably it, X Sambo 0202, I Like to Vike, One Fuago, Lewis543, Auxiliary Function, Don Rocco2234, Christmas95, T Gracchus, Dreador, Bloodbath McGrath, Gosh Darn It, <laughs> Zoltorion, Buckley, One Design, The Ragu Doctor, Flim Flam de Zim Zam, Kulaz Bao, <laughs> Red Thorin, Ice Beast, Alex Domlaz, Gorthor Criteria, Super Dong Double Jam, Araxis, <laughs> Sequoias, Legendary Mantis 7, Las de Morte, F Snow Zombie, Bofrak, Concrete Entree, Andrew W or Andrew RB, 
15. Kareji Steph, Shares 5, Rafa Nushidar, Painter Skies, Stampy Elephant, Dire Zada 0, Soul Shocks, Silver Stencil, Fia Merzel, Fears Me, Yolfi, Yohalis, Dorklogger, J Clark 2882, Pathogenic, President of Math, Never of the Job, Squirting Flemmy Discharge, and <laughs> Ross Denisos. Thank you for the subscriptions. That's a nice, nice group. And Waifu there. Gone Wild. I know Derek Clogger. Derek Clogger. Here comes the Derek Clogger. Here we go. He's a long-term subscriber. Then again. I think he's from Europe. <laughs> Maybe Ireland. Thanks for the sub. Then he goes, nah, 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 nah. All right. Well, I'm gonna. Hit. I'll catch you guys later. Yeah. Have See you guys. Night. See ya, Dan. Enjoy right. your PUBG. Oh, he bounces like. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. See you later. See you tomorrow, Nick. See. Ya. All right. You can go watch Dan play PUBG over at the twitch.tv slash Dan Giesling, or you can watch watch Austin play PUBG over at twitch.tv slash last underscore gray underscore wolf. I'll be back tomorrow with the NLSS. See you then.